Peace and Black Power family. Welcome to another Sarnetta TV House of Consciousness production. And we are here with our brother, Brother Jabari, and another brother. Go by the name of Silas. Brother Silas is in the building as well. And um, I would like to open up the floor, introduce our brother Silas. And um, let's find out what's, what's so ticking in my Silas brother's brain further. for a minute. So, uh, he, what's he going on, people? Uh, you know, I don't really never have too much to say. I like to just get straight to it. Well, I started indulging in the knowledge when I was young, like 16, because I don't play video games or nothing. Mm -hmm. So when all my homies play video games, I pull my book out. So that, I started that young, but the um, your boy Sankofa shared my God Sacrifice video. Mm. That's how it happened. Oh. So he's the reason. Mm. Sankofa. Okay. So, um, Brother Jabari, we have a young brother here, man. I know you like to take it easy. You like to be <laughs> humble. You love to be humble with people. But people are calling me up, telling me, yo, tell Jabari, man. Go in. You got to go in a little harder. And you can still be humble, but you got to drive your point. Let, let, you know? let, me, say this. let me say this. And, I, and I, some other folks have said that, um, you know, I'm in an interesting position because I have folks who are in the comedic community that in some ways don't understand why I debate anybody. Right. They say, why are you doing that? You're a priest, right? And I have other people who know me as a historian and lecturer, and they say, just... Instead of giving them a death by a thousand cuts, which is usually what I do, <laughs> stab them in the heart. <laughs> so I am in the middle, right? The reality is that I don't enjoy ar arguing or debating with black people. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I think that there's some information that our community needs to have. Yeah. And I also believe that when we discuss these, in these issues, we help our community understand, crystallize some concepts that will help us be powerful, right? We don't have to agree on everything. I'm, I'm not, I don't debate also because everyone has to agree with me. It's also because I want people to have some real intellectual discourse and dialogue, right? That's how it works. Now, if you look at the debate between, for example, Bill Nye and the, the guy that built the full-scale model of Noah's Ark, you look at the debate, Bill Nye the science guy. If you look at their debate, no one, they didn't try to kill each other, right? When people have intellectual debates, they don't need to kill each other. They just um, articulate points and, and articulate where they disagree. Now, Bill Nye and that guy that built that ark will never do anything together. When we are working in our community, I intend to work with people that I disagree with. We're trying to get to an understanding so that we are able to truly understand how we should move forward. So, you know, some people think I should stab people in the heart. These are my brothers and sisters. I'm not going to stab them in the heart. I, I, we are going to continue to work together because we need, our community needs so much. So that doesn't mean I'm not going to ask targeted questions. It doesn't mean I'm not going to um, challenge people because I do that too. And keep in mind that sometimes people get really upset. I mean, look at how our dear brother Zion Lex flipped out on me. He flipped out on me. We had a much better conversation the second time, but he flipped out. He got upset. So sometimes people get upset when you challenge them. Brother Sanchez got upset when I challenged him on some things in the very beginning. So, so this brother didn't watch the whole thing, but he's saying that I got smoked. <laughs> I'm going to say to you very clearly that if you look at the debate, it should be very clear who answered questions. It should be very clear who posed questions that could not be answered. I mean, Brother Sanchez still hasn't told us what's on the other side of the disc. He believes that this is a model that our ancient ancestors have been describing, which I disagree with. He doesn't know where the sources of his, of his pieces are. He, he even said to me that he was offended I mentioned the Metropolitan Museum because that was the white man's museum. The only reason why I mentioned the Metropolitan is because at least 20 times in his lecture, mm -hmm. he shows an image from the Metropolitan Museum, mm -hmm. which tells me he has no idea where the image is. He doesn't know where it is. He doesn't know where it's from. He doesn't know what it is. So that he was not prepared to talk to me. He's been saying that our ancestors articulated a flat earth model. Mm -hmm. He's not prepared with someone who has been studying ancient Africa for over 30 years. I was expecting you to destroy him. So, but, uh, but you have to listen to the arguments. He was 
Brother Sanchez is not at a podium with me. He's under the podium. His concepts were absolutely ridiculous and destroyed. I know that you question why I talked about the moon. Brother Sanchez argues that the moon is a hologram. You should have just stuck with the flat earth and just... But you have to understand that the moon tells us that the, the earth is not flat. When we look at the faces of the moon, we look at how the moon behaves, there's a model that he's created that doesn't make sense. And... I will say this to you, it's a comprehensive model. He's talked, he talks about all sorts of things. So that when you dis d debate this with him, what you have to do is you have to debate the entire model. He believes that the sun and moon are equal and that they literally rotate around this disk. Okay. I'm so you have to articulate, well, what is the sun? How far away is the sun? What is the moon? How far away is the moon? How can we tell that the earth is, the, the moon is a sphere and the earth and the sun is a sphere? By the way, if all of those planetary bodies that we see are spheres, why would the earth be a disk? These are all things that I responded to and, and debated with him. So we certainly talked about why the earth was flat a lot. We talked for a long time. It was like, what, over three hours. So I, I certainly, I certainly I addressed why the earth itself must be spherical. Now, he believes that when I say that it is um, wider at the middle mm -hmm. than it is on the poles, than if it was a, a, a ball, he argues that I show something that looks like a ball. But what I've said continually is that scientists have said that due to gravity, the center of the earth is a little wider. But it's not, it's not something that you can detect with your eyes. You'd have to do very precise measurements to know that. Well, earth is really, earth is really, uh, we got to understand that earth is living. So that balls you talking about, it goes in, it goes out. It's like pulsating. So when you're dealing with the earth, it's not going to never just be one shape. It's, you know, it kind of like, like how they say Earth got to have a heartbeat. Mm. So when you say it bulges out on the sides, sometimes it'll go in a little bit. Not to say that it still won't be spherical, but it's not just always bulged out on the sides. Sometimes it'll, it's like pulsating, like a light in a sense. I don't think I agree with that. Why is that? I don't, I don't think I agree that it's, that it's pulsating. First of all, understand that even with a small movement of the Earth's crust, we see absolute cataclysm where hundreds of people, sometimes thousands of people, die. But this is movement. So, it's not, no, like your heart beating is a normal movement. So the Earth oh, pulsating, the yeah, the Earth pulsating, that's like the normal movement of Earth. So you wouldn't feel nothing out of the ordinary. You get what I'm saying? What I, but, but here's the deal. I think that I'm not saying that the shape of the earth is completely static. It can't be. The earth is, is literally billions of years old, right? So that's not what I'm saying. But when you say a heartbeat, I think most people would assume that you're talking about something that happens in a relatively rapid fashion. How fast is the human heartbeat? Um, so I think that the, the analogy of using a heartbeat for subtle changes that may occur in the shape of the earth might be misleading to people. And I don't think that it moves inwards at the, at the corners, if any, it, in, in the middle. If anything, it's getting wider at the middle due it to gravity. And it goes in, but it do, I don't know but where do you, what do you base that on? <clears throat> What's you, that based on? You can base it on the same way that they uh, come to the conclusion that it's bulged on the sides. How did it get bulged? There was a point in time where they never said it was bulged. There was. There was a point in time where it was just spherical. The claim where it uh, expands on the side, this is new. This is not old. But because it's a newer claim doesn't mean that we're learning new things. We're, we're, we're learning new things about the earth every day. We're learning new things about the heavens every day. We're learning new things about the, the other um, planetary bodies every day. So that because they're saying that the Earth is slightly wider in the middle than it is on the, on the ends, that doesn't necessarily mean that that just happened. I think if it happened that quickly, we would know. No, that's where we get it wrong. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that it just happened. They're observing the um, Earth, so they say. Mm -hmm. Now... If something is pulsating in and out like that, 
I'm not saying it's going flat, then coming back, but just pulsating like waves. Like everything do on Earth. It's just pulsating. If they examine it at one, because you got to remember this is micro macro. Mm -hmm. So one pulse, let's say one heartbeat of the Earth, that could take a hundred of our years. Because it's on a macro right. level. So it's like when they're looking at it, it may be bulged out. If they go back maybe a hundred years after, it might be in some. So it's just pulsating. Like, like any living thing. It, 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 if Earth is alive, it has to have some type of movement. Based on what you're saying, I cannot agree or disagree. I don't believe that the math and the science is telling us that the Earth is, that the, the, the middle of it is fluctuating, getting um, more spherical and less spherical, more like a ball and more like a football back and forth. I don't think that the science tells us that. But as you're saying that it happens over the course of thousands of years, I don't think, or hundreds of years, we haven't been observing it long enough to know that. But I don't believe that the science should have us believe that. I believe that when we use the word heartbeat, it may be misleading. I think that the, the earth is a system is of living beings. Is it something? I think that it's a system of living beings. I don't think it's, if we look, think of the earth as one living being, that may even be misleading as so well. living beings have hearts. Uh, do all living beings have hearts? You're sitting under a plant. Does that plant have a heart? It got a heart <laughs> so what would you say is the, is the heartbeat of the plant? I would have to look at the uh, genealogy of the actual uh, plant to see where. But the plant has everything we have, like sperm cell, uh, egg. It's all in the seed. Yeah, but we're talking about heartbeat. Don't, don't, I would have to don't, look. Don't, don't, I would have to look into the plant. I mean, I would have to look into the now, tree. That's what I said. Now, I'm let not. Me, let me say this. To I'm you. not in the tree. The 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 plants do have a system that brings nutrients and brings um, sustenance to different portions of the of the plant so it has what they usually call xylem and phloem but i don't think that if you if you call it a heart people might be too apt to connect it to the the mammal like structure so i think that that is i agree with that. you know what i mean no i get you basically I, saying if i if i say that the uh plants have a heart right. then people going to try to tie it in to make it like well, a person right. yeah I, right. and, I, and I'm, that's not what i'm saying so right. Right. right 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 but see i could see that we're not necessarily disagreeing entirely because you're also seeing a beat might be hundreds of years that's not but see when you say a heartbeat people are thinking that it's pulsating in a, in a bit of a rapid fashion that's how a heart usually works no you're right so perspectives right when you're breaking down things you do kind of have to be extra clear right so right on that. but um when i said heartbeat i'm just basically i'm basically explain i was explaining the movement so i'm not actually saying earth has a heartbeat because mm -hmm. earth is a part of the larger body mm. you get my point like we have organs in our bodies then micro cells earth is like the organs okay now let me let me let me interject here I would like for um, Brother Silas, because this is what Jabari re really want to try to debunk or try to um, argue the fact that you say we all didn't come from the same people. It wasn't no African man and African woman who sprouted out and multiplied the earth. We were already here, meaning are you saying that the albino was already here, that the Chinese man was already here. That explain, go into detail on what you really mean. Um, I basically was saying you got every continent on Earth, plus you have some that's not here no more. Well, they're still here, but they covered in water. Every continent had melanated people on it. How you get different people is from albinos mixing and mingling with the melanated people on every continent. This is how you get like Chinese and us and white people. This is how you get everything in between. You get my point? I don't think I agree with you. Why? I, 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 as far as we know, albinoism, it, albinism is actually a recessive trait. Yeah. So that if you have an albino person and they have a, a, a child, usually that child is not albino. 
so that I think that when you mix albinos into a population that doesn't let me let me try to finish the thought so I, so the family understands what I'm saying I don't think that that necessarily means that you change entire populations of people by albinism I think that that um, that that is a particular as far as I understand albinoism is a particular mutation but mutations are happening fairly frequently when you say albinos have children and they don't, uh, the children are not albino? Because you're not speaking about original albinos. You're talking about black people or Chinese people that are albinos. But they're not original albino. An original albino is a white person. Not a white person as we know it, but a white skin, white hair, Caucasian type of person. The albinos you're speaking of are people that come after the fact. You get my point? Albinos mixed with the melanated people. Therefore, melanated people have that gene within them. So this is why if an albino that's black has a baby, the baby will more than likely come out black. Because the man that's an albino is not an original albino. You get my but point? Then, but, then how does, but then how does that explain the variation in skin pigmentation we see around the world? Because I... Re reproduce? From reproducing. Explain that a bit more. How uh, if an albino has, if an albino reproduces with a dark-skinned person, then you get something in the middle, right? I don't think that that's the case. So what will you get? get what will you get? If an albino has a child with a, a person of rich pigmentation, mm -hmm. you usually get a person of rich, rich pigmentation. So you're telling me when a, when a black man and a white woman has a baby, the baby usually comes out pigmented? Because that's not true. Okay. And it would have to apply the same. No. Why not? Because the Tom who um, skin coloration is not traditionally what we would call albinoism. That's a different trait. Um, and so I think that if you're comparing what happens between Europeans, the Tom who, and the African, and saying that the child is usually a, a slightly different complexion, you have to understand that your your average albino still has all of the traits of those those people that are genetically in their in their family in their lineage right. so that if you look at an image all you have to do family is google an image of albino parents with their children and you're not usually going to see that those albino parents have albino children i'm sure that they there's a greater percentage a, a greater chance that they will have albino children What's the point? Explain. The person you're referring to is not an original albino. What do you mean original albino? A black person with wide nose, nappy hair, but they're an albino. That's not an original albino. That's someone that has the genes passed down to them. An original albino is a... We haven't seen an original albino. White person with the white chalky skin, with the white chalky hair, with the purple reddish eyes. So how do you know? That's an original how albino. Do you know there's an original albino that's different than the albinos we see today. Because the albinos we see today are mixed. You know they're mixed because, like you said, a black person have an albino, a Chinese person have an albino. So the albinos we see are not just albinos. You can't deny that. You, you're not talking about an albino that has an albino mother and an albino father. You're talking about somebody who's not 100% albino. So when you're making a point and you're not making it with an 100% albino, this is why you're getting confused. Because what you refer to as an albino is not an original albino. I think, I, I, I think that you are describing something that, that science hasn't told us exists. But they I don't think that science has told us that those people exist. I, I, you're, you're describing something different than we see on, on the earth right now. Um, you're, you're saying that albinos in those populations are why those populations have changed. In actuality, those populations around the earth have changed due to genetic mutation which makes particular, which we, we all, mutations are very frequent. They're very frequent. Everything They're, comes from something. Yes, but every human, all human um, humans on the earth have mutations. But certain mutations, it's something that happens in our, 
our gene pool. In fact, some of those mutations might actually be caused by some of the rays of the sun. But let's let we're not going to. That's a little bit too scientific. Let's let's keep it a little, little simpler. Yeah, but I think that the, the the family at home might say, "What the heck is he talking about?" So because then we'd have to talk about some of the particles that come from the sun, other than the rays that we see, because there are a number of different types of rays that come from the sun, and some of them we don't see, right? Um, so, and some of those cause greater mutations. So, but let me say this, let me say this, just to be absolutely clear and, and take the, the global view rather than the, the micro view. The changes that, the alterations that we see in the human family that are different according to their complexion are due to lengths of time, mutations, and some of those mutations might become more advantageous in the environment that, that those people are in. So you don't think, uh, you don't think mutation has to do with people mixing and mingling with one another? Because we see that happening all the time. And that's think, where most of it's coming from. No, I don't, I don't agree with that. So people mixing and mingling don't have nothing to do with the change and effect that. to the genes. Yeah, I'm just saying that's not what we call a mutation. That's what I'm saying. So what do you call, what do you call a mutation? A mutation is a change in the genetic um, code that actually is not necessarily created by, um, by uh, intercourse. It's a change that, that occurs. We have tons of mutations that occur in the human genome. And some of them... Cells have intercourse. Atoms have intercourse. I'm talking Science, about human intercourse. I'm not talking about... This is all within a human, so you can't say I'm just talking about humans... Cells but that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about cells and atoms are within you, so they have to do no disagreement. But I want to make a distinction between the multiplying of cells and the way that human beings are produced in terms of their reproduction. There is a difference. It's not the same. How could you say it's the same? A, a cell might actually divide to create new cells. Humans don't divide. You don't see me like growing a, a third arm and then all of a sudden that third arm is going to be another dude and we're going to pop, pop and lock together. It don't work that way. So. The problem with uh, people that follow science is they don't understand that scientists what don't fully. Mean people that follow science? Just people in general that follow science. So how you said science cells split. You never thought that maybe when they're looking at the cells splitting, that could just be two cells coming apart? Like you and your wife when y'all finish having in the course? Y'all come apart. But men don't think that in depth like that. Say that again. We reproduce by having sex. Right. When I finish having sex with my wife, let's say, we split from each other. Grass. I pull out and I go my way. That is not the same thing. It's the same. But if you're looking at, no, think about it, Si. If you're looking at, hold on. If you're looking at micro cells through a microscope, right? They can't tell exactly what they're doing. Yes, All they say is, oh, they're splitting, they but they don't know why. That's not true, Brother Solomon. That, that is it's absolutely not true. You can actually watch a cell in the process of mitosis. You can actually... While, it, while, while, while a baby is um, being, being developed. Yes, you can. But I'm not talking about it. But, but, but you're talking <laughs> about... about you're talking, cells. We're talking about the reproduction, the way that cells divide. The manner in about, which... Uh, you're talking about after um, conception. I'm not talking about But it doesn't have to be after conception. You don't, we don't have to be talking about human cells. We could talk about amoebas. Okay. We could talk, there are other cells. We could talk about plant cells. So we could talk about skin cells. Okay. So we actually, you can see skin, you can see cells divide. You can watch cells divide. You can monitor cells divide. And usually what you see, but let me make the distinction so you understand my distinction. That's the difference between, you can see one cell become two cells. And That's not the same thing as when my wife and I have intercourse. So because we are already two organisms. But if, somebody, if somebody's watching y'all through a microscope, they don't know that? We're not watching the cells continuously to say, okay, that cell just split. You can watch the cells. But uh, they're not. What do you mean they're not? You're telling me they watch cells round the clock. You need to come with me to my wife's, my wife works at a medical school, all right, I mean, and it's a research institution. There are people that watch cells all day long. That's all they do. And so, are so. Are you familiar when they watch cells, they watching it in 2D? Are you familiar with that? 
See, this is my point. It's a whole lot y'all don't grasp. They look when they looking at the sales. The machine they has it catches the cells in 2D. They just made a new, what is it called, an electron scope? They just made one. I forgot the guy's name. And it shows the micro life in 3D. It shows them moving. In the past, when they kept capture the images, it will kill the micro cells. So when they was when they was uh getting um visuals of themselves within the body, they killing them just to get the image. It's like when you go under um what's that called? X-ray. That shit be killing your cells. Yes. It do. Listen, an and it's the same way with the X-ray. They be killing them just to get a little glimpse. There are different types of microscopes. And they all kill. No, they do not. Right. Listen, I'll bring you my microscope from upstairs because I am. A, that are you telling me? Are you telling me? Are you telling me that when I look at a microscope through a regular lens, it's killing the cell? Say that again? When I'm looking at a microscope. You mean when you're looking at a cell? I'm looking at a cell in a microscope, yes. I'm killing the cell as I look at it. What kind of micros? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm talking saying about? to you, I'm saying to you that there are different types of microscopes. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. The microscope that most people are familiar with, they actually are nothing more than lenses that allow us to see things that we cannot see with the naked eye. The Magnification. And that but we're not, but it does not, but it does not create, the microscope I have upstairs does not create any form of radiation, or else I wouldn't have it laying next to me in, in, in the bed. That doesn't kill cells, and you can watch, depending on the magnification you have and the type of cell you're watching, you can watch those cells divide. Those don't mean that you're killing cells, and an x-ray is not a, 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 um, a microscope. Those are different. It's similar. Same process. No. They look in One of them is able to see things based on radiation and, and, monitoring, and monitoring. No, it is not. It certainly, it just is not. If you and I go down to Marshall's, or I think Marshall's the only place in Harlem you could get that. Family, that's, a, that's, that's sad. But if you go down and we pick up a, a microscope right now, those microscopes are not using any, they're not producing any sort they of... They're using um, any science research centers? They're different types of microscopes. microscope, you You said any microscope... He said, he said, I'm family, I'm following what he said. And he said any microscope kills the cells that it observes. Yes, you looking at the micro cells. Family, you gotta play this. You go you gonna have to different microscopes. The different types of microscopes. But I'm saying to you, but here's the point. Here's the point. Here's the point. Here's the point. You can watch us. You can watch cells divide on a microscope. And how do you know that? that do, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. That does not use any sort of radiation to monitor those cells. Okay. Let me and so those aren't killing okay, um, things. I could actually take a strain of a bacteria, right? A household bacteria. I could take it from my dish rag. I could take it from my skin, and I could actually cultivate it in a petri dish and watch it do, and watch it multiply. That is asexual multiple um, asexual reproduction. Okay. That's not sexual reproduction. Because all things, um, a lot of things reproduce differently. Now, my question is this. You know micro cells do reproduce. You know that, right? Yes, I am. Are you talking about asexual reproduction or sexual reproduction? Those are different things. The way we reproduce. Micro cells reproduce that way, right? Two cells actually come together and create new cells. They don't reproduce like that. In a, in a station wagon. They drive it together. <laughs> Seriously, they don't they don't reproduce not generally not like that. No generally yeah. not or do they yes or no generally well Listen, there are a lot different cells. I know that that's why I said some of them reproduce right. so different when, when But do some of them reproduce how we reproduce by coming together and having offspring? Yeah, they do Most you know do they do produce that way But I will say to you that there are I'm sure that there are some cells that do that 
that join and then divide. Now, how would you tell the difference? How would you tell the difference between the cells that are reproducing the way we do and they're coming apart? How do you tell the difference between those and the ones that are just splitting, as you say? Because some do split. Well, That's how they reproduce. They reproduce on their own. Well, they're different types of cells. So how would you and to say and that they're different types of cells? And so when we recognize that there are different types of cells at play, we know that some cells reproduce asexually. And, but most cells reproduce in a manner that is different than multi-celled organisms. Now, I'm talking about a cell. We're not going, we're not getting I'm talking about a so cell. We're both right. Right. No, we are not both right, family. Family. <laughs> family. We're both right. He's speaking of one kind of cell, and you're not acknowledging. Hold on. You're speaking of cells splitting, reproducing that way, and I'm speaking of spell of cells that come together how we do. Now we're what both right. Hold do? on. Now we're both right because you do have cells that reproduce how we do, and you have cells that split and reproduce. Now, so that's why I say it's we pointless. Now, we like we said, sex. No. Oh, okay. Sex. Listen, listen. listen. Sex. He is describing a cell comes in. You know what I mean? He buys the other cell a drink. They go to the club. They, <laughs> cells don't do that. <laughs> I'm teasing you, but but you gotta but you gotta but you gotta understand that for the most part, that's not how cells reproduce. So, so cells don't have sex, is what you tell me. They call it asexual reproduction. Cells don't reproduce the way we do. I'm saying the majority of the cells that we are talking about, you can't be, listen, sometimes when you're overly simple, you can become, wait, listen, you can become, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. When you become too simple, you lack specificity, and lacking specificity doesn't help me understand how things occur. I could describe the process of me getting into my house as a sexual act, with my key going into a lock. And if I do, and I'm not being funny, I'm talking simply, but listen, listen to what I'm saying. But I'm saying if you make things too simple, sometimes what happens is the lack of specificity then gets to the point where you're not really telling a story that's helpful. And so when I talk about how cells reproduce, I'm talking particularly about the, the primarily the, the way that, um, that cells reproduce, we're talking about what do you mean how I'm taught? I've watched them in, I've watched them, family. Brother Solace needs, Brother Solace needs to take a, a science class. You need to take a science class. I need to take a science class, mind you. Let, let's, let's talk real because you're not answering nothing I say. you beating around the bush. I no. said, hold on. I said, do cells reproduce like us? Some of them. You like, well, see, you're not being straight and saying, yeah, some of them do okay. reproduce how we I do. I did say that. When I just asked him what I he did, you're beating you around the bush. You're like, you say how you're making a joke out of things to like throw it off. But cells are living beings. No disagreement. So if they living beings, how are you going to co connect it to a key in a lock? If cells are living beings and we know all living beings reproduce how they reproduce, then we know that the cells within the man is going to reproduce how men reproduce. There's a great difference. It's not a difference. You, you, wait, wait, wait. You haven't even heard me say what the difference is. The, there's a great difference in the way that organisms reproduce. It's a difference. And I think that, and I think that, well, I think that there are similarities. Definitely there are similarities. When you look at the way that, for example, a new sunflower is created, you can actually say that in some ways, that kind of reproduction is similar to human reproduction. You have what would be considered male aspects of plants and female aspects of plants, and they share genetic material and create new plants. So in some ways, you can say that's similar to the way that humans reproduce. Plants go with the earth. So the earth is like the feminine and the plant is like the masculine. That doesn't work that way. Plants actually have some plants. plants, get planted in the plants some plants. Like well, how then what 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 is the role of the bee then? The what does the bee do? Yeah. What's the role of the bee in the reproduction of plants? You don't need a bee to make plants reproduce. You need to, you need to do take a science class. You have to have a bee to reproduce plants? Brother Science, yeah. Brother Solace, Brother si Solace, you need a science class. Because I'm telling you that, and this is funny, because when my wife sees this, let me listen, you have to listen, you have to listen. The earth, the earth is in crisis right now because we have entire colonies of bees that are dying. 
And if you do a little research on, this is not something that people aren't. Wait, listen, listen. Hear me out. No, this is not a play on words. You have to hear how this works. You have to hear how this works. Plants won't grow. If there are no bees, many plants won't grow. See the games? Many plants won't. But you the there are different types of ways that Brother Solace makes these things so simple that you can't talk with, sim with specificity. And I know that many of you at home, let me finish. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Many of you at home are familiar with what I'm talking about, but Brother Solace needs to just do a little more reading. So I'm not going to beat him up on it because when, when he does the reading, let me finish. Let me fit. Did you have coffee before you got here? You got to call down for a second. Listen. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Let me say one thing. I talked for two seconds. But here's the deal. You asked me. You asked me. A, I never took the mic for an hour. You asked me. I can describe this in 45 seconds. It's This is not a complex thing. But you have to not interrupt so you can hear what I'm saying. Not now, So he interrupts. Not all plants. I said I'm going to take 45 seconds. I'm going to give you the mic. My thing is this. You keep saying You cannot that. take more than five seconds? You keep saying all. But no. And it's when like you get the mic, you can do Listen to me, brother. Listen. Listen. Just listen. Just listen. When I lay it out, then you can disagree or agree. But you have to listen to me lay it out. But you're saying so much. You're not listening to me you're lay. I'm saying 45 it. seconds. You can't wait 45 seconds? 45 seconds. Okay. You could time me at home, family. <laughs> uh, what I'm, I said that bees are critically important to the reproduction of plants, and we are actually in a crisis right now because whole colonies of bees are actually at the point where they are dying. So this is what bees do. Bees go from plant to plant, and they carry some of the pollen with them to other plants. So we're talking about um, portions of the plant that we would consider female and portions of the plant that we would consider male. So what we're saying is, is that not all plants reproduce just from seeds. It doesn't work that way entirely. So you have to understand, what I was trying to say is that there's some things, some, in some ways plants reproduce in ways that you might say are similar to um, the way that humans reproduce. That's, that's where we, we disagreed. And so that's why I say the role of the bee comes in. We're not even on the same topic. It's like we both talking about two different topics. Okay, so explain to me Colonizing a plant, a plant's going to grow before that, correct? Do the plant not come out the ground before the bees come along? See, he's this playing This is the chicken eggs. and the egg, brother. <laughs> this is the chicken and the egg. This is the chicken and the egg. Listen, 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 this is the chicken and the egg. Because what happens is the bee helps pollinate the plant. The plant is then able to allow those seeds, those things to create, and then they grow. But without pollination, some of those plants will not be able to create those things that create other plants. So what I'm saying is this is a chicken bee. He said, did the plant exist before the bee? I didn't say that. I said... You just said, did the plant said, exist before the bee? I, you said that. What did I say, Sardetta? <laughs> you said you said the plant grows before the bee. That's there what you I, go. But, but that's, that's what I said. That's not the same. That's a goofy shit. Oh, did the chicken come before the egg? I said simple shit. Before bees, before bees come along yes. and put pollen on flowers and all of this, the flower was there. We're talking about reproduction, though. When a seed goes into the ground, that's but reproduction. When a, when when an apple falls from the apple tree, it goes into the ground and it reproduces with the ground. This is how you get more apple trees. That's only one part see, of the he's reproduction. <laughs> That's <laughs> only one part of the reproduction. You see that many, many plants actually develop flowers. What is the purpose of a flower? What's the purpose of a flower? As far as what? In terms of reproduction. We're talking about reproduction. What? Is the importance of a, your questions are not clear. That's that, like listen, asking me. What, I think almost <laughs> everybody knows. That's about like. You. As far Almost as what? What do you speak? What are you talking about? You, you are describing how seeds create new plants. I'm not disagreeing with you on that, but that's only one part of the reproduction. Listen, 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 listen. There is no, there, you have to understand that pollination is part of reproduction. And pollination and pollen, no. 
it's all it's a, it's a cycle what what begins that's why I said it's a chicken before the egg because because you how do you know that so what I'm saying to you is is that the pollination is part of that process of creating new life and some plants some plants actually need assistance and the only reason why we're getting to this is because brother Solace was saying that there are cells that reproduce the way we do and I said well there's some plants that reproduce we, we, the way we do and he disagreed so I'm talking about male parts and female parts family brother Solace needs a, you need a science class you ain't proved that Based on my understanding of what I heard Brother Salah say on a few videos, he believes that humans, melanated humans, mm -hmm. were on all parts, all continents. And so there was not one original origin to a human being that then spread to the other continents. That is, that is what I heard you say. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more about that. Well, humans don't come from planets. So that's the first thing you got to grasp. Planets? Humans do not come from planets like uh, trees. You came from your mother. You didn't come from the ground of a planet. So you have to grasp when you're dealing with the population of planets, if humans do not come from the planets, then where did they come from? So it's a lot of things y'all skip over. So when you're making your point about the population of the planet and it started with Africans in Africa, you're forgetting that people do not come from planets. So you got to grasp that. And this is what I'm saying. When I go deep, people, he have a hard time following. He like, huh? Mine, you're simple. We That's, I know Brother Salas thinks that that was deep. <laughs> that was not deep. What's not deep? He said people don't come from planets. People do not come from people, planets. So but the reason you? why... Give him the mic back so he can finish. No. So he if, won't cut you off. If, if, pe anyway. if, pe if people do not come from the planet then you cannot make a claim saying that this person derived here. People are not born out of planets. So how can you say that? So let me ask you this then. How did they get to where they were? You're saying they were always there. They came here. Like how? every planet. How? how? What do you mean how? How did they come here? However they chose. What's so hard about that? However they it chose. Answer a question. Why doesn't? Said, that's like asking, chose? yo, that's like asking, how did Shanetta come here? No, it's We not. came however we chose, foot, car, whatever. No, 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 no. What if I said they no. came by Space something Space. you don't have a clue what it is? So How would I word that? So, so let me explain this to you. Let me ask you this, Ned. Let me ask you this. Because maybe you're saying they come from some interstellar. I'm saying the simplest thing. People don't come from planets. Now you want to make the conversation goofy. So then you like, well, how did they come? I stay away from the goop because that's a dumb question if you really want to be technical. No, 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 no. How did they come here? You I'm know people saying. are not born this from the planet. I'm trying to so there's really no need to ask no, that question. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to understand, I, I don't want to go too far afield mm -hmm. um, because sometimes then we're going to be talking about everything and there's no way for us to get an understanding of anything, right? Because we're going to be talking about different things. Right. What I'm trying to get an understanding of is the fact that you have described an idea that humans were always on all continents mm -hmm. and they did not originate from one section on the globe. Right. So I want you to explain to me how those people in those different places, and so for example, there were always humans in China. There were always humans in Australia. There were always humans on what we would consider today North America, South America. So that is what I heard you say. So I want you to explain to me. So you're saying that they, you don't know how they got there. I can say it's not simple. Okay. When Sadnet and his family moved into their house, he went to his room. His, his kids went to their room. Same way. People kicked the planet and they spread. But no one's from one place. People are not from the planet because you're about Wait, to get lost and that's say, a oh, analogy. how? Because you're talking about how Sonetta's family came to their house. They did come from one place. They came from the car that they came in, drove up in, and then they went to the different rooms. Mm -hmm. You're saying that they were always in those rooms. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they was always in the room. I said people okay. from Planet. But wait, 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 wait. Before we go they there, before we go there, because that's going they a little far further. Go their way. So, 
So there are two things that you're saying. I'm trying not to say both things, but I want to, maybe I need to say both things so we, we're we clear about what we're talking about. You're, you're also arguing, not only you are, only are you arguing that humans were always on the different continents, but you're also arguing that human beings, and I heard you say this, so I don't think I'm saying it incorrectly, but challenge, check me if I'm, I'm saying it incorrectly. You've also argued that human beings did not evolve from other life forms. You've also said that. Because I heard you say the the animal the, the creatures that you see that people show as, as earlier ancestors of modern human beings are monkeys and humans didn't come from monkeys. I've heard you say that too. So talk to me about that a little bit. As far as what? You heard what I said. So this is what I'm asking you. As far as what? You just I, said I what I said. Develop it with a little bit more detail. So I as far as what? So that you believe that you believe that human beings were always human beings. The modern human being was always the modern human being. This is why the complication is coming in, because all you understand is the physical. A person is more than a physical human body. I'm a priest. I, you won't have so anything. this is where you're getting confused, because you keep saying, oh, people, people, men are in the physical on the physical planet. What's so hard to understand about that? What do you mean men are on the physical planet? When men are in, on the planet, they're in the physical flesh, the darkness. But you're more than that. That's just a shell. No, I have no disagreement. But this that. is my point. But when you're I, trying to deal with the, the creation of man, you're not including that. You're just including physical body, like, oh. All right, let me, let me ask, let me, let me try to, um, hold on, let me try to see, let me try to let Silas know. Um, in this arena, in this ring where we at, there is something called show and prove. Mm -hmm. There are something called references. Because that's what everybody, even the audience, they want to know where you getting this from. Where could I go and look this up at? So when Brother Jabari asks you, Brother, um, can you show me how or where? It's not a stupid question. He asking you, how do you come up with this? So that he could begin to do the research. So that's all he's well, asking let's you. Go further. No, no, can I just say wait? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something really quick. I'm not necessarily asking you for sources. I'm trying to get a sense of I'm trying to get a sense of how you develop those concepts. See, me and him on the same. We, oh, right, we yeah. Sources are helpful. Re references is one thing, but, you but always have to have there you go. It's just a matter of how did you come to the equation? How did you come to that understanding? Now, I come to that understanding. Did you see any people come out the ground? No. So then what's so hard to understand that people do not come from planets? Why do I have to give a reference for that? Why do I have to make it so complicated? If you don't understand that, then show me a person that was okay. born okay. out me, the ground, so and then I'll say, okay, I'm so done. Let me, so let me break down my concepts, and then maybe you can agree or I disagree. A concept. It's a well, it's a concept, because... Because, you, brother, brother Silas, how old are you? You're, you're, okay, so you've only been on the earth 35 years. And you know very well that there are people that were here before you. So it has to be a concept because you didn't see it. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying people don't come from the ground. Well, it depends on what you the consider ground. the ground. It depends on what you consider the ground to be. Because it is believed, and I think that we can make a very good argument, that there were um, single cell. Wait, listen, 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 listen to my ideas. I tried to get yours, even though you made them very simple. Too simple. So simple that they're just, they're ridiculous. But, 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 but here, wait, 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 wait. Let me lay this out so we can, we can at least know what we're talking about. Because I don't think he... I, Listen, so this is what happens. There are single-celled organisms that become multi-celled organisms that slowly, through the process of, in some instances, perhaps billions of years, they, they evolve into other organisms. And as they continue to evolve, as they continue to evolve, what you begin to see is those organisms look different. They have different traits, sometimes very, very different traits. So in some ways, if you go far back enough, you're going to find a common ancestor to us and a fish, mm -hmm. a common ancestor to us and a bird, mm -hmm. right? But we wouldn't necessarily consider those animals that look like fish or look like birds to be humans. So what I'm saying to you is, is I'm asking you, where's the origin of what we would consider a human? So that if you say that humans don't come from planets, in some ways we do come from planets. But it depends on how far you go back. Because the same stuff... 
that the same stuff, the same stuff that is made from the stars, that's made from planets, is the same stuff that we're made out of. But we're talking about billions of years of evolution. And in those billions of years, you begin to see and different types of organisms differentiate. And as they differentiate, of course it has something to do with mixing. It's not the only thing, though. Mixing and mingling is not the only thing. They share the same traits, like it just happened. <laughs> now, I was going to say the similar thing that Brother Jabari said, because we all know that all the atoms, we were not always here in this form. And like Jabari said, that will take you billions of years back, because we wasn't always in this shape and form. So we did it's come from the earth. We did come from planets. No Everything that exists outside of you exists in you, right? right. There you go. Say that again. Everything outside of me exists. Within right. Me. All the stuff that exists outside of you exists within you. Right. As above, so below. Not everything, but as above, so below. Right. I don't have. I don't have all the same genetic makeup as a white person. So that's why I said some of the stuff we will all share. But but you know. In the life. The reason why you don't have. But when I'm when we dealing with the planet. I've never seen a person come from the planet. You're only 35 years old. You're, oh my. <laughs> you seen it? I'm only 45 years old. So this is my point. So like you said, on your platform, there's a thing called show and prove. So I rest my case. You want me to show and, let, me, let me give you, now listen, I'm going to tell you that evolution um, is, it's still a theory. I know that. Right? But it's a theory backed by so That's much, wait, let me, finish, theory, let me right? finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. The stuff you're talking about is theory as well. Nothing I said is theory. It's all common sense you can see. You common sense means it's a theory. It's Come on. Did you, you actually said that all humans were always on a planet and we got there in whatever way. You're talking about something that happened a very long time ago. So we're all talking about theories. But my theory, because you can't prove it. I can't. My theory, no, because I'm still saying something. I am still saying something. Let me finish. Let me finish. Wait, let me finish. 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 Uh, all things actually have an, uh, uh, an origin. And that all things, if you go far back enough, are from the same place. It's absolutely true. And that is based on and that is based and that is based on science. Because you'll see, for example, um, that we share genetic traits with a fish. We share genetic traits with um, a, a fly. We share genetic traits with all sorts of different organisms. We even share some of the chemical traits as a rock. So in some ways, all of those things, all of those things, you got to try to have a little bit more discipline. I have not been speaking long. Uh, all of those things have an origin, but what I'm asking you about, you're going very far afield. What I really want to know about is humans. That's what I'm asking you. And that wasn't long, Brother Solace. That was really long. It I talk really long. I talk for 30 seconds, give him the mic, then he go on anything. for like four minutes. I'm <laughs> answering your question. You telling me show and prove. I said, show me a human that came from Earth. Because all humans are born from other humans. You tell me, oh, we not old enough to see that. So you playing games. I, I don't play games. Explain to me how that's playing again. You never seen the human come from the ground, the earth. Nobody have. All human beings come from other humans. You're playing games like... You have to, you know what you have to do though? You, you have to open the aperture on your lens. Because you're looking, no wait, because you're looking at a very short, li listen to me, listen, listen, you have to listen, listen. You don't even let me, you don't even let me speak three, se three minutes before you, three seconds before you interrupt. What you're looking at is a very small window of time. And so if you let me finish, let me finish. Let I'm not insulting you at all. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be absolutely I've oversimplified this. You're playing games. Because if you want to be technical So that if you want to if you want to be technical, the solar system is the actual being. And the planets within it is living the living organs, so to say. I don't know the word that we will use because y'all don't break this down. You're describing the solar system as an organism. Huh? 
No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. That organisms have organs. Right. Organisms are made up of organs. But I'm not saying it's us. It's a macro. No, I get you. Okay, as long as we're on the same point. I get what you're saying now. I got No, I got you. No, I got you now. I got you now, brother. The solar system is an organism. It's an organism. With the micro life within it. Exactly. Made up of organs. Cells are the same. You agree? On a certain level, yes, I do. Do cells have organelles? On a, yes. So if cells have organelles, then that means cells have organs because organelles are within cells. So I'm a, I'm a human. I have organs within me. A cell is a living being. It has organelles within it. Same up above. The solar system has its organs within it, its micro cells within it. So now when you're saying, oh, people come from planets, a planet is not even a whole being. But brother... Brother, That's like minute. retarded. How can you say? How can you say that the solar system is made up is an organism, and the planets are part of that organism, mm -hmm. and then you don't see that we are the same stuff as the planets? How could you not say? How, there's there's a disconnect there in your We're thinking somewhere because you have solar. to understand solar. a solar system. A solar system is made up of a star. Solar, and planets that rotate around it. A solar system is a living being that has its makeup within the same way as you do. So this is where you're getting confused because you're looking at the solar system and you're taking a perception that you see like this. You're a, ma a, micro, a micro being looking at a macro being from within. Your micro cells, they're within you. You're basically trying to explain something from the outer perspective within. So you're like, it's a solar system in the planets, and that's not how I'm it not works. Even, I'm not even disagreeing with you. You're taking, you're taking, you're arguing about something we're not disagreeing on. We are disagreeing that I, what, from planets. Well, I don't know how in the world you could say that we are part of a solar system and then say we're not, we didn't come from planets. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that we are made up of the same. Okay, take a look at this. Let me show you. You see this, this rock, right? Nice rock I got a yes, that's 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 um Jasper, old culture bomba Jasper, right? And and I carry it because it's a sacred item to me. But as you look at it, it you'll even see the eyes. Take a look at the eyes on it. It's a little freaky sometimes. <laughs> but I actually look at that rock, and it helps me focus and center, right? And so as I do that, one of the things that becomes clear to me as I look at it is that I am made up of the same stuff that that rock is made up of. That in a certain sense, all of those things in the universe are one. The same item. Right. And so how could you see it at that level, which is, which is profound, mm -hmm. and then not say that humans come from planets? Because they don't. But how could you say that we're all the same stuff and then humans don't come from planets? You got organisms, you got organs within you, and you got micro cells within you. Did the micro cells come from the organs? In some cases, yes. See, here we go with this in some cases, yes! In some cases, no, then, right? Yes, in some cases, no. Then I made my point. No! You haven't made any points! How I did if I you are you haven't made any I points. Brother, brother, your the basic logic that he is using you're, is faulty. No, you're, you're listen, I, you wanted me. Listen, he wanted me. He wanted because there's some yes. things that and some of no. it yes and some of it no. What's wrong? If the sum is yes, then no, no. If you say all you and I say all some all yes and some no, then you all is do micro sales come from organs? Yes, but see, you don't understand basic logic. So when you say do micro cells come from organs, you are actually saying do all micro cells come from organs? Well, that's what you said. I'm just asking a simple question. So that's why I answered you. So that's why I answered you yes and no. By the way, okay, by the way, by the way, I'm I'm really trying to come to this brother's turf. Because I don't what is he talking about? Microcells. Are you talking about cells? What are microcells? Cells. Okay, so I'm coming to your turf. I'm even using your terminology. You talking about micro cells? Micro cells? They just get called cells, brother. Well, I call them micro cells because I'm, so oh, what I'm trying to wait, 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 wait. Let me say this. What I'm trying to I'm not trying to make you Can seem. I explain it 
let me let me explain why I said that because you're going to take offense to it. What I'm saying to you is this. What I'm saying to you is this. What I'm trying to do is, in order for us to have a conversation, I'm coming to your turf. You, we were talking about where humans came from, where they had their origin from, and you actually moved and you moved all the way out to the the solar system. And I went there with you. No. I went there with you. I just want to talk about I just want to talk about the difference between a monogenesis and a polygenesis to human beings. That's what I that's what this conversation started with. But you started talking about the solar system. And so I went there with you. That conversation. No, because there was no we haven't settled on anything. Can I say something? Sonetta, we have not settled on anything. We ain't gonna settle on this. Can I say one thing? Why not? Hold on, brother. I just want to say one thing, because you playing games. Now when the people see this in the comment, they gonna he, the people don't settle nothing. We we the teachers. If the students is the students, how the students is settling the teachers? Me and him got to settle this. But my thing is this: you're playing games because scientists call them microcells. Also, sometimes they don't add the micro. Sometimes they do, and you know that. But you're playing games, saying why are you saying micro? So this is what I mean. It's like you playing games. What I'm saying. Now, mind you, I said we are. As above, so below. So when I say micro cells, it's because we're cells. Are our bodies not cells? The, the, Is a body not a cell? The, the term that you're using, you bi know. biologists, no wait, I'm just trying to explain something. Biologists don't use the term micro cell. The term micro cell is actually something that's used in mobile computing for are cell phones. Cell? No, I'm so not I a cell. It's made up of cells. Oh. A cell means a body. That's what a cell means. It don't matter what size the body is. A cell is a body. Your body is a cell. You can't say it ain't because you just said that we're the micro within the macro of the solar system. So if we're micro cells in the solar there system. There is virtually no scientist, no theologian, no philosopher that would say that we are cells. So you what, are when you look up cells, when you look up cells, what is the definition? Okay, why don't you do that right now and read it to the family? Because I think I you, you need, you no, 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 the reason why I'm not doing that is because I want you to understand that I'm not saying anything that's coming from Jabari. A Asase. cell is not a body. You are actually, you are, what you are doing, okay. A cell is not a body. Why don't you, why don't you just look at biology cell? You see that? You can click it if you want and you can read it. The cell is the basic structure, functional, and biological unit of all known living organisms. All living organisms are cells. Did you notice the S on the end? You asked me if I am a cell, and I said I am made up of cells. No, those are not games. No, no, no. You're playing games. I said your body, I said all bodies are cells. No, you said are you a cell? You gotta have Are a you a body? Are you a body? We need to get this brother some gig below. <laughs> are you a body? I, <laughs> He's playing games, OG, and I know you see it, man. He said it less than 45 man, seconds I'm just ago. Back there. See, OG, not, you're not wait, being wait, wait, real, wait, wait, man. You got to be real. Stop He's that. playing games. Here, I heard him when he said, me, are you a are cell? You a cell. Right. And I said, I am made up of cells. And then I said, all bodies are cells. No. Then You're playing games like, oh, that's games. two different things. It is it's the same. I asked you if you were a cell. You wouldn't answer that, so I said, are all bodies you cells? You just read the definition and of it a said all You just read. It says, notice the S? All organisms, meaning any organism, him, a solar system, a micro thing. Anything that's an organism yeah, right. is a cell. No, that is not what it says. Oh, gee, read this, please. You need to read it. Read it please. You need to read it. Wait, let me, let me turn it on. Brother, Brother Solace, read, you, read either you need a, an English class do or a biology do class. I don't even understand what you're not understanding here. Read it. I don't know what you you're not understanding here. Now you read it. Okay, family. I, I just went to Wikipedia. We're not doing anything complex. Okay, let me read it. Let me read it. Let me read it. Let me read it. You are too excited. You have to slow down a little bit. No, you know. Listen very carefully. The cell is the basic structural, functional, and biological unit of all known living organisms. A cell is the smallest unit of life that can re replicate independently, and cells are often called the building blocks of life. That is that? what, Matter of fact, brother, that's what you read. Take this in. Are all bodies cells? 
Is he actually asking me to pull that up? Family, you heard the, the, the um, description. Yeah. Are all body cells? Because you're not answering that. You basically... Read no, I have answered it. Oh I have answered it. The breakdown of I said... Can I say something right now? Go here? ahead. Why are, you, why are you doing your thing? Go, go ahead. You have macro and micro. Now, you're playing games. We technically call micro cells within us cells, and we call ourselves organisms. But if you look up a cell, it has the same genetic makeup as us, meaning it has organisms, it has a head, it has everything we have. A cell has a head? A cell has a head? A cell doesn't have a head. Why would a cell have a head? What do you see a cell as? A you said a cell was a living being. A cell doesn't usually have a head? What is he talking about? Yo, brother. Sperm cells don't have heads? What'd you say? Sperm cells don't have heads. Now, wait a minute. Did you hear him yeah, chase the question? You yeah, changed the question. You changed the question. How? We talking about cells. When you say cells have heads. But I didn't What you should employ, what you're saying is. Do cells have heads? And you know what I'm going to say? You're going to get frustrated. Some cells that do, and most cells do not. Well, let's deal with the ones that do. <laughs> For and this is my point. <laughs> this is like a stupid conversation. Brother, you are. Hold on, can I say one thing? This you have to keep track of no, all. Hold wait, on. Wait, 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 I didn't wait, say wait, nothing. Wait, wait, wait. I tell Sarnetta then. Sarnetta, you have to keep track of his debates because they're all bad. Oh. So there's a common thing. When I watch the debate with you and Sanchez, same thing. Okay, wait a minute. It's like confused. It's let's like goofy. Oh, let's get it's into that. Family, family, I want you to hear something. I really, I brought this brother here and I want to build with him. But when he just said that, you should understand that, that is ter that's the terminology for Brother Jabari taking my gloves and flushing them down the toilet. <laughs> because now when I go in, you're going to say, why did you beat that brother up? How you beating me up? Because you better understand you that this up? brother is, no, I'm saying I'm, I'm about to beat you up intellectually. Wow, because you need to understand that, first of all, in order to make an argument, you have to listen to counter arguments. And you have to listen to them for more than three seconds. Second of all, second of all, the other thing that you're not able to do is it is impossible to have a conversation with you at times because you are all over the place. This conversation is about the origins of humanity. And he wanted to talk about solar systems. And you heard me say, family, you're going too far afield. I actually said that. But I went there with him. You're playing games because you And the reality is, the reality no, is that he has, the reality you're is you're that he has you're very you're simple, you're he has very, he has a very simple understanding. And when you try to go in depth, he struggles. So he changes the subject. This concept, this conversation is about the origin of humanity. That's how it started. It didn't start. We weren't even talking about the origin of humanity. We're not going to be able to talk. Okay. Now, what is it? We're talking about the origin of human beings, of humanity. That's what we're talking about. Right. Do you agree? The the origin of human beings come before planet Earth. And, that's what we talk and this is my point. Y'all are not clear in yeah. what y'all speaking of. Okay. He's like, we talking about the origins of humans. Where? You, you cannot, you got to include oh, 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 that. Oh, 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 oh. Now, now, here we go. Here we go. We on the, we on the clock. This is what we're going to do. We're going to let you lay down your premise right now. And it's on you right now. Without nobody saying nothing, nobody cutting you, give us the origin of being. Of human being. Of human being. If you don't say the right thing, it's going to be uh, a problem. Give us the origin of human beings. Are you clear with that? Where? That's my saying. Y'all, y'all understanding is limited Tell to. Y'all understanding is limited to Earth. So when you say, "Give me the origins of human beings," and I say, "Where?" To you, it's like, I don't, what does he mean? Where, Jabari? Where? <laughs> Jabari, could, go ahead, man. Let me put it to you like this. Let me, let me say one thing. He took the mic back. Let me say one thing. <laughs> we all micro cells that got egg cells, right? right? So at one point in time in our existence, we were all micro cells. Or like you like to say, cells. Bubble. We were all cells. Like Hold on. Now, this wait. Nice. Come on, Sal. Can I say one thing? Hold up. If you to give us the origin of human being. But Silas, is a cell a human being? Some are. Really? Mm-hmm. 
You think a cell is a human being? But some are, are some 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 are animals. Right, we're gonna just let them talk. Go ahead. Plants. You got. Right, start it. You got the floor. Go ahead. All different uh, living beings, but uh, you you pretty much threw me off of what I was saying because right, y'all playing too much. All over. I'm gonna restart it. Stop I it. I understand what you're saying, so we can talk about. Then stop laughing and joking. Yeah, stop laughing. It's, 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 Come on, man. I could go that route and start what? ODing, oh, oh. but I'm trying to keep it level. Now, now you said we... some humans are cells. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> what we are dealing with right now is the origin of human beings. Reset. Right now, we are going with our brother, Silas. Now, you see the clock? I'm starting it right now. I'm giving him the mic. Let's go, my brother. Now, as I stated, you said the origin of human beings. Now, every human you've seen was an egg cell that got a sperm cell at some point. So you know every human that you see was in cell form first. So when you say the origin of humans, this is a dumb question. You have to be specific. I don't know what's so hard to understand about that. He's laughing like, the origin of human being. The origin of human beings do not start with a planet. It does not start with the body that you see now. So when you say explain the origin of humans, my question is when? And this is where y'all lost that, because you have no understanding that you was a micro cell that got an egg. Right now, you don't see yourself as that. The information to tell us. The try, to, try, to build it, try to build it. Talk. When? When? Uh, whenever, whenever you want to build it. Whenever. Human beings start from the atom. Okay, there you go. Go in. It starts from the atom. What do you mean go in? The, the life starts as an atom. It builds itself up to cells, organisms, solars. It goes through the levels. So in a nutshell, you could say the sperm cell ascends up from its smallest level, which would be an electron. And it ascends up through the life, the different levels of life. So you have atom level of life. That's a size thing. You have cell level of life. That's a size thing. We're organisms. That's a size thing. The life is within the life. You grasp? I'm, I'm letting you. If you're finished, then you can. I don't want to play the game. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to play the games, brother. I don't want to do the debates how y'all do them. I do debates simple. If you don't grasp, then you take the mic and say what you don't grasp. Don't wait till I finish. You said I interrupted you, so I'm trying to be respectful. I'm. I'm trying to be respectful. I really am. I really am. Now, now, you sure you done? Well, he asked a question, so maybe if I try to clarify, I'll give him. I don't. I don't. I don't have a problem. Wait, wait. I don't have a problem giving him the mic back if I if I clarify and then he answers the question differently. I don't have a problem doing that. I actually want to have a conversation. I don't. I'm not. Yeah, but but the the challenge that I'm having. You got to let him talk. Wait a minute. That's my point. Why we can't just have dialogue? Because it wasn't working before. It wasn't working before. It's not working because you just interfered. He was like. We was about to have regular dialogue, like regular. No, 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 no. I looked at you because you interrupted me before I finished. So, so this is this is the deal. I think that what I'm what I was trying to get at is something that I heard Brother Salas say um, when he was actually on your couch, and also when he was sitting on 125th Street by himself, and also on 125th Street with um, Brother Sanjetti. So that that's what I was trying to get at, and I heard him say something several times that I didn't agree with. So I wanted to talk to him about that. I want to talk about the origin of human beings. And um, I, I actually don't disagree that human beings um, start out as single cell organisms and continue to grow. I, there's, I, there's no disagreement about that. But I'm not talking, when you're a single cell organism, you're not a human being. So what I'm saying, what I'm asking him is, you, you, you gotta let me finish. What I'm asking him is, is when did human beings, folks that are in this type of form, begin and where? So I'm not necessarily talking about a, a time frame. I'm talking about how we got to where we are. And I was also challenging him on the concept that human beings were all over the globe, like human beings were on all continents, and that the other ethnicities and quote-unquote races did not come from Africans. And then also, there are three ports, parts to this. That's the other thing that I'm... 
Watson. The thing, well, I want to lay it all out because I never got a chance to. The other thing that I disagreed with him on is that human beings didn't evolve from other beings that we might not consider human beings today. That we that we actually evolved from other beings. And so there are three levels to this that I disagreed with him on. It was, well, you were talking about monkeys. You said humans don't come from monkeys. I heard him say that on a video. So, yeah, so that's that's what he said. So, so... So these are the three things that I'm disagreeing with him on. I'm disagreeing with him on, let me, let me, no, I wanna, I'm going to clarify that monkeys, as we call them today, and human beings have a common ancestor. They look a lot, they, they, I think if you looked at them in terms of fossils, they would look a lot more like what we would consider monkeys today, right? But technically, that other being is not a monkey. A monkey is what we could go see at the zoo, or so. So that's what we're saying. So the three things. So let me say this. Let me let me let me isolate those three things, and I'm gonna give you the mic. Let me isolate the three things. That's possible. But let me. But let me. But let me. But let me. Wait. 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 But let me. But let me. I'm. I know that. I know that. I'm. I'm. What I'm trying to do. I really didn't interrupt you. What I'm trying to do is isolate what the three things are. And there are some things within those three things that we will agree on. I'm not saying we're going to disagree on everything. But these are the things I disagree on. And I wanted him to talk about. I want him to talk about, one, how he argues that humans were on every continent. They didn't have an, a singular origin on one part of the globe. I want him to talk about the, the I disagreed with him on the concept that um, Africans were not the original human that then um, grew into, grew is not the right term, um, changed into other types of, of beings on other parts of the globe. And I also wanted to disagree with or talk about the concept that humans evolved from another being, other beings that we would not necessarily call humans today. Those are the three things that I wanted to talk about. Um, when I say albinos, there you go. Now I'm when I say albinos mixed and mingled with the original melanated people of the continents, why do you keep saying it like as if that's not the same thing you said? So when you say that people evolved from the animals or whatever, the only difference between what we saying is I'm saying they evolved because of the albino mixing in. And you're just saying they evolved. But we really have no disagreement. You get my point? Huge disagreement. How? Those are huge disagreements. How? Those are not the same thing. It's not a big disagreement. It's a simple one thing. You believe that animals evolved from nothing, climate or whatever, and I believe that they evolved from the mixing and mingling of the ancient, um, the ancient albinos and the ancient original people that were here. Brother, those are very different things. It's not. Because what you call in the hominids and stuff, wouldn't that be the ancient people? You so it's the same thing. You just... Okay. You trying to make a debate out of something that we really need to be clear on with well, each other. Well, there are similarities. That's why I said we don't need to really debate. We need to get an understanding of each other I'm trying to get because I don't learn how you learn and you don't learn how I learn. Sure, so our perspective is different, but it's not necessarily debatable. It's a matter of they're saying the same thing from the way they learn. So I learn from the life. You learn from comedic science or whatever. So this is where the problem's coming in. It's not that we're saying different things. This is why the debate is retarded. And it's confusing like that. Because we're not really saying different things. We both on the same conscious. You just learn one way, I learn another way. You got your own wording and things. I got my own thing. But what you're saying is the same thing I said. I don't see how you don't see that. Uh, from my perspective, we said things that were very different. Um, and so I, you said that people evolved because of their mixing with albinos. I do not agree with that at, at all. Not at, at any sense do I agree with that. And, um, and I think that I think that, that right when the people evolve from albino, uh, albinos, Mix and mingle. well, what does the word evolve mean, first of all? Second of all, uh, when you say mixing you and mingling, I'm, 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 listen, I'm telling you right now. Um, human beings change because of their environment. 
Tell me why. And so, and so, and so, albinos in. Are you going to let me answer the question or? Are you going to let, because I, I can sit here very quietly and listen to you, but if you're not able to listen, it's going to be very difficult for us to have a conversation. Yeah. So in terms of the way that evolution occurs, it's not because there are albinos that create those differences in evolution at all. It's because human beings go to different places. There are mutations. Some of those mutations are advantageous in particular environments. And after long periods of time, you... If you don't listen, you cannot see. He's, he didn't even hear what I said. I asked you a simple question. And I answered it. You not. I said, why are the albinos not the reason for the change? You didn't explain why the albinos are not. You just told me your perspective. Oh, they changed because of client, climate, blase, blase, blase. But I asked you, why couldn't the change have come from the albinos mixing and mingling? Because you obviously believe in albinos. All right, let's try it again. Go ahead and explain. Well, albinos are not mythological people. They, they actually, but, but the changes that occur did not change, did not occur because of albinos. albinos we would have to, we would have to, we would have to in some ways argue that there are people that look like Africans on every continent, and then there were albinos that mixed in, and then those people look very different. If you look at people on, um, for example, in Australia, they look very different from people who, uh, in China, who look very different from people who are in um, Britain, who look very different from people who are in South Africa. So if these are all the same people that mixed in with albinos, why would we not have the same end point? Why wouldn't all human beings look the same if we all change because of intermingling with albinos? The reality is that that's not what created the changes. You so said you said the planet. changes I said you had occurred people on every the planet. I said different melanated people. You said, oh, it's all one person. All one. You playing on words. Well, let's, let's be really clear that sometimes you change the words that you've said. And it's possible that it's, he means something well, different. Wait, hear me, hear, me hear me for a second. Hear me for a second. It's possible. Wait, listen. Listen, listen. It is possible that you mean something that I don't necessarily understand. And so what you have to do sometimes is take a little bit more time to expound so that you're clearer. Because now, no, you weren't clear to me. Now you just said there were different melanated people on every continent. What he actually said, let you have to listen. What he actually said was there were melanated people on every planet. He didn't say different before. Now, he might have meant different, but if you don't take the time to develop your ideas, it's possible that people that are listening, you have to listen. Brother Solace, Brother Solace, you have to listen. It's not possible to have a debate if the person will not listen. Like, it's not possible. This is what I mean by nitpicking. It's not, it's not nitpicking. Bringing up what I said with Sean Family, Jim. words mean talk something. I'm talking about what he just what said. He words have meaning. Where did this come from? And what sometimes... Jay in them, right? Okay, can you all listen for a second? Words have meaning. Oh. And sometimes if you say something one way, it's not clear to the hearer what you actually mean. And that's the reason why I'm asking you to expound, to, to say a little bit more. Because when you do that, sometimes you get clearer on someone's position. And I've asked you many times during this conversation to expound on your position because I'm not sure if I understand it thoroughly. Family, you have seen me ask him several, ask him several questions without even laying out what I actually, or what I'm arguing. Because I want to, why am I arguing with him when I don't understand his position entirely? I want to understand his position entirely. Brother Salah said there were melanated people on every continent. Now he just said, wait, wait, you have to hear this. You have to, both of you should hear this. Then he said, then he said there were different melanated people. So that if you had said that before, I would have asked you to clarify what you mean. Well, if you've seen the Sanjetti video, then you've seen me say that. That there were different melanated people? I don't, I don't remember him actually saying that phrase. But I, said that but I want you, I but I want you to, but I, melanated people. but I want you to, but yes, I, I, I want you to that. build the argument. Well, about? He want to hear it now. I'm going to say to you, I'm going to say to you, Sanetter, Sanetter, how many times did you hear him say that? 
You watched the video once. You li did you watch the video or did you just listen to what I he said? said? His show when I was by myself, when I was on San Jetty. When I was there, I said you had different groups of melanated people on all, every continent. Now, if I just now said, oh, you got melanated people on different parts, we're talking about what I said then. So I shouldn't have to say every exact word. You know what I'm, where I stand. So different dude, melanated people. I just did. He said, brother, brother Salas said, and, I, and you, family, I hope you see that I'm really trying to listen to him. I re, I'm not trying to disrespect him. I disagree with what he's saying, but I want to understand what he's saying so I can tell him why I disagree. He's not, giving, he's not granting me the same benefit here. But what I want you to understand is, brother Salas said that the differences in humans occurred because they all evolved due to interactions with an albino. And I'm disagreeing with him. That is not why the differences occurred. That's not why the differences occurred. Why? I already said to you that if we all had different interactions with the albino and that's how we change, then you would assume that, the, that there would be the same product now, say, at the end. Now, this is how I'm saying he's playing games. Because I clearly just made my point that I said there were different groups of melanated people even if you wasn't clear on that you was clear on that when you just said what you said so this is my point he's playing games purposely because i see and you talking i already cleared up what i meant what i said and then you go right back to doing the same thing again you're playing games i don't do that listen listen keep it a hundred or i don't want to this is stupid family Family, family. I certainly. I, I'm not sure why he thinks I'm playing games. I'm trying to understand him, okay. and he's and he's saying things that are all over the place. And then when he gets to a point, he says very little. I don't think anyone grasps what you're saying. We're asking you how different people occurred on different planets. If you ask Sonetta to describe your position, Sonetta cannot explain your position. The people at home can't explain his position. Partially because for two reasons. One, because the position don't make no damn sense. First of all. Mm -hmm. And second of all, he's not expounding enough for me to even understand it. This is the question. Can this I is the question. the question. No, no. Because you're, you're not listening. You're not listening. And because you're not listening, we're not able to have a dialogue. So listen to what I'm saying. What I'm asking him is, how did, this is not about an insult. He says I'm playing games. Everything I said. I don't think anyone understands what you said. So this is my point. What I want to say is this, though. Go ahead. After I clearly cleared up what I'm speaking of, you keep repeatedly saying I'm saying stuff I didn't. So that's why we want you to say. That's why I keep cutting them off. It's not about I already said what I said. But then he gets the mic and says what I didn't say. Solace, is it possible I don't What's the point of that? your position? You no, don't take Brother, you understand. I need to say this. Wait, 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 wait. He needs to understand. I want him to hear this. I'm not trying. To, this is not a game. I'm trying to understand your position. He's not listening. He's not listening. I'm trying. Listen. Just listen. Can you can you listen? 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 This had nothing to do with Sanchez. This is about me and Brother Salas. Listen. No, Brother Sanchez and I clearly had a debate. This is a discussion. And in order to have a discussion, everyone needs to understand the positions, the, the, the ideas, the concepts, so they can discuss things. I don't believe I'm going to disagree with everything that you say, but there are some fundamental differences in our understanding of the origin of humanity. So I actually asked you to expound on a few of the things that you said. And some of the things that you're saying now sound a little different than the things I heard before. And that obviously means that it, one of two things. I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to say that he's actually changing what he's saying. What I'm saying is, is that perhaps you have to listen. Listen, if you can't listen, how can you have a conversation? I don't do this. You're telling me I said something different than I said before? No. 
No. So you're painting. If a you listen for a second, you'll hear that that is not yes, what I'm saying. Go, here we go. Listen, I do not believe. I'm giving this brother the benefit of the doubt. I'm not saying he's saying something different. I'm saying perhaps I didn't fully understand his position. That's why I wanted him to really expound so I could understand it. But instead of doing that, he asked a few questions and he wanted me to respond. I don't think I still completely I understand. Don't Just let him. I tried to let him speak. I'm not interrupting him. This brother doesn't let me speak for three seconds. So, so, so explain to me, explain to me how you, the origin of human beings and how. Uh, uh, Listen, this is frustrating. That's my point. This is the <laughs> this is frustrating. Yeah, this is frustrating. This is retarded. This, this is a is waste of time. Brother, I already explained my point. I asked you why do you believe it's not the albino? You didn't answer that. But no, you beating around that. the bush. You didn't. I answered the question. You believe in you believe in albinos, but you don't believe they had anything to do with people changing in their appearance. That's retarded. I'm saying how you believe in albinos and you don't believe they got something to do with people changing. If a Spanish person and a black person have sex that baby don't gonna look like neither one of them and you sitting here telling me that don't make no sense you see everything I'm saying happening now in today times if a white person mate and mingle with a black person you know goddamn well that baby don't look black or white it's its own race you know that but you're sitting here playing little kid childish games like you don't understand and this is what I'm talking about I don't do that I deal with common sense you telling me oh we changing our DNA cuz of climate that's stupid. You know that. People go everywhere they go. Don't nobody change unless they mix and mangle. You know that. So why are we sitting here playing dumb games? I, I did that with Sanjetti. But you you supposed to be wise and you're playing now. Like I'm not going to play with somebody that's wise. Mm -hmm. I know you're not stupid. You reaching to debate me. Debate me when we got something to debate on. You just reaching to have an argument, a discussion, whatever you want to call it. But it's like we not getting nowhere. That's why this shit's so stupid like this. No, it's not stupid. Don't it's stupid. stupid, brother. If you watch it, it's stupid. It's like the Sanchez and his debate. I want you to understand that no, I'm... See. No, wait, wait. I want you to understand... No, wait, no, let me... Can I say this? Yeah. Can I say this? I need to say this. I, I want you to understand that I'm trying not to be offended by what you're saying. And I'm really reaching not to be offended. Because you've said house, everything I said is stupid. It don't matter where we are. We could be on 125th Street. House, that house, would house. still be offensive. Definitely. You've said that everything I said is stupid. You said I'm playing games. All I'm trying to do is understand your position. I feel you playing. Now, there's some things that you've said that I think are ludicrous, but that's not because I'm playing games. There's nothing wrong with me thinking that something you said is ludicrous. There's some things I said that you think are ludicrous. I didn't, uh, I didn't assume that you're playing games. So why do you, well, you disagree because you said that what I said was stupid. That's why I feel disrespected. Ludicrous is like crazy. That's no, stupid. ludicrous, ludicrous. If I think what you said ludicrous and crazy are not really the same term. Ludicrous means that what you have developed doesn't follow based on the facts of the argument. And so I'm saying that what you're saying doesn't make sense. And so and so I want you to I want you I want you to say I want you to hear this is not about ludicrous and crazy. Let hear hear what I'm saying. Here. All right, I feel like Brother Jabari is reaching to debate on things that I say without fully understanding what I'm saying. So as, as opposed to me and this brother actually vibing and him getting an understanding of what I'm saying, he's basically hearing what I'm saying so that he could try to shoot it down. And this is why we're not getting anywhere. Because he's not even clear if we're in disagreement. So it's a lot of things he's saying it's not even different than what I said. If you go back and look at the video, it's a lot of things I said that's no different than what he's saying. He's telling us that albinos is a real thing, but they had nothing to do with the change in people. Mind you, how is that possible? How do you have albinos and they don't got no effect on life? We all melanated, you get albinos pop up and they don't affect the life in no way. And this is his mindset. No, it was climate that did the change, not the albinos. So you telling me a white man and a black man mate, a white man and a black woman mate, and there's no change in the seed? He's basically telling me albinos have nothing to do with the change of people. So my point is this, why are we even sitting here having this conversation? Because that's stupid. 
You acknowledge there's albinos, but they had nothing to do with the change in people. We see a white man and a black woman have sex, and then the baby don't look like neither one, but albinos don't have nothing to do with the change of people. And this is not playing games. So this is what I mean. I don't want to play games where I'm making common baby sense, and then you looking to disagree with it with stuff that don't really mean nothing. Nah, brother, we didn't change how we look because of albinos, or because of a different race. We changed how we look because we went somewhere, like come on. How is that, how do you even compare the two? So I'm looking for you to be like, nah, he, that is stupid. But it's like none of that. You looking at him like, nah, that's deep. Okay. And I'm lost, like how? Now see what it is, is I'm sitting back, I don't want to enter into it. I, where I'm voicing my opinion, oh he's right, and you wrong. I'm letting y'all two deal with it. That's why I'm sitting back. But you got to keep him on some type of... Now, let me ask you. Are there anything you said that could be wrong, brother? Because it's, it's like you can't accept the, the criticism when you're wrong or something like that. Who criticized me? As far as the information I'm talking about. Like the yeah. knowledge. Who criticized it? I think he... He opposed what you were saying. He's opposing things. He's trying to debunk what you were saying. He's trying to debunk and oppose things I'm saying, and he doesn't understand nothing I'm saying. But you have to allow the person to speak, brother. And even if you disagree with him, you get in the mic back. And when you get the mic back, you say, well, brother, here's where you went wrong at. I never said this. This is why you don't understand me. Because I'm talking about this and you talking about that. Just one time. Just going in on one time. If I tell a brother, yo, there's different races of melanated people. Because this is where this came from. So I said there's different races of melanated people on every continent. Explain that. Hold on. Before I explain that. He got on the mic after that and said the brother said there, his point was the brother said there was one melanated group of people on every planet. How do you, you get, know where he get that hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, you know this takes, a, hold on, this takes away from my point. Let me tell you where he, he got didn't that get that from. from me. He got that from you sitting right there just yes. now. But he was bringing it up from a past right, debate. I wasn't going in. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying. What you just said, Silas. Be really clear. You have said several times that we are not necessarily disagreeing. Mm -hmm. And I admit to you that I don't disagree with everything that you've said. I never said I disagree with everything you said. But what I am saying is that there were some fundamental disagreements, some important disagreements. And so what I was trying to get an understanding of is your position so we could discuss the disagreements. Mm -hmm. Now, if you think that that is playing games, I am sorry for that. I think it's playing games where you repeatedly keep saying something that I didn't say. Well, brother, even if I even 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 at this time, even in this time, you said it three different ways. So why in the world would you expect me to know which one you mean? You said there were melanated people on every continent. You said there were different melanated peoples in every continent, and then you just said there are different melanated races of people on different continents. You said it in three. That's three different ways. No, that's three because melanated. When you say no, it isn't. Different races, different groups of people is the same. No. When you say races, it implies something this very different. Makes me like this it implies something very different. Groups of people, races, what's like, come on. There's a like, difference between really groups of people. What do you mean? There's a group of people standing out right in front of this, the, uh, in front of 200 West 131st, and there's a group of people sitting in this living room. But That's when you nice. say, when you say you races, when you say races, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 so when you say the word races, now you're saying something different. That's why when you say different groups... If I say it was different groups of people on every continent, or I say it was different races of people on every continent... Yes. I'm listening. Now we know when people mix and mingle, that brings about a change. We all know this. Climate thing... It's evolution theories. It's still not fully developed. Yet, you're going with that over common sense. That's a fact. It's a fact that when people mix and mingle, you get a new race, so to say. We may not call them a new race, but it's a new race. So if a black man and a white woman have a baby, that baby's not actually black or white. Not always. He's like mixed. Not always. Kind of his new... Not always. Why not? Well, okay, so let me give you an example of what I, how I, why would I disagree with you. Uh...
In real life, I look 100% Baptist. What do you mean 100%? When I walk down the street, they say, Poppy, you Dominican, boom, boom, boom. Oh, but Dominican right. And you Dominican telling me. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no he wait, do. wait, 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 wait
Because you could say that everyone on the planet is an African. That's not what I'm talking about right now. Okay. Okay? That's not what I'm talking about. You could even talk about those people. Well, I'm talking particularly about those people who have been in the, the country that is considered the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Hold and on, let's were, be clear. They were mostly brought there as enslaved Africans. Hold on, you're saying there's D, you got DR. Now, within DR, you got melanated people. Some descend from Africa, and some are natives to DR. Forget the name, but just the place. Now, is agree. that what you... I agree with No, that. I'm asking him, is that what he's just, saying? Just like... Is that what you're just saying? Just like us here from Africa, they was already... I agree, descendants but, here. Yeah, it was. And that was all melanated. of us didn't come... On the boat. But then again, we migrated all the boat. But listen. But all of us didn't come on the boat. Can we agree that we're talking so about three lens said. sizes? One is the really big lens, one is the middle lens, and one is the smallest I'm lens. just trying to get you, what you're saying, though. So you I'm, talking, saying that I'm talking right now on the smallest lens. Meaning that there are I'm people in people. DR that are native to Africa. Yes. And then you have melanated people there that are not also. If you go to the mid lens... Oh, to the largest lens, yes. Though we Just can, in a nutshell, we can say you that feel like... But I, but I want you to understand the difference. Mm -hmm. Everyone is from Africa. That's, I don't agree with that. Well, I know you don't. That's what I wanted to debate. That's what I wanted See, to that's debate. that's what he wanted to debate. That's about. what I wanted to debate. Why do you, But Africa's not the oldest continent. Yes, you got sir. continents that's you underwater continent? that predate Africa. What do you mean the oldest continent? You got continents underwater that predate Africa. Now, hold on. What do you mean predate Africa? Now, that's see, not that's true. That's what I mean. When you say that... That's not true. That's when you got to prove that is what not, you're talking It's about. not true. So no, but Jabari, it is if you can prove it. It's that's not... What I'm, no, I'm telling listen, you I can prove the opposite. You. But listen to what I'm, I'm saying. I'm telling you I can prove the opposite. Right, but I'm telling you, if he can prove it right now, that there are continents older than Africa, this is, then he can prove that. This is this is where this is where y'all get like lost. All continents are connected. They're not floating in water. So no continent predated any continent. When I say predated Africa, I mean it was not covered in water. So you had Africa, you had other continents. Wait, 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 wait. Say, that had, say that part again. Hold on. Say that part again. Say that part again. Before they chopped it up, he said Before, it was all one. One. No, I'm, I'm saying no, no, no. I'm, I'm we saying, tend to call it land. I'm saying Pangea. no, 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 no. I'm not saying that either. I'm saying you had every continent that you have now mm -hmm. and more. So when Africa was around, you had other continents that you may not see now, thriving with Africa. In that time, no. some of those places that's like not, like like New Orleans. It's not true. New Orleans was thriving so, with New solace, York City, but true. now it got flooded. Solace, solace, that's not true. It's not a factual. So continents a, ain't no continent get flooded ever. That's not what I said. But oh. what you're talking about when you say thriving with Africa, and maybe you're not saying this. So I think clear. you pinpoint wait, 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 wait. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Important. Let me be clear. I want to ask you a question so I can be clear about what you're saying. And hold on. See, this is what you think I'm playing. And I'm trying to get clear on you. With no, I'm with you. When you, you right say now. thriving with Africa, I assume that you're talking about with people thriving with Africa. Just people existing at the same time. With, your, Africa with people. Was. That's why I would disagree with you. Because you're pinpointing because, every word. Well, like, because words have meaning. Yeah, but if we're talking about the people and we're talking about that place and I say they're yeah, we're talking about thriving people, around the yes, so that's why I disagree with you. Because he's not but pinpointing that's why every I disagree little with word. You. But, like, that's why, but, listen, but listen to why I'm, where I'm pinpointing and then you'll see why I'm, I'm making the distinction. The land masses that may have been above the water that are now below the water. There are not many of them, by the way. I know. They're very small. I know. Right? But... Um, it, we if if the argument is that there's some that were above water that are no longer above water below um that are no longer visual right but those places that happened per, per, particularly before humans were on the planet no because you have to remember no. the earth is much older than humanity no. of course the earth is about five billion years old right so you saying that the continent but humans but wait here but humans don't say. Don't say when humans started, because we all know you don't know. And just like so you mean I not, don't know. Let's not flag up. What do you mean I don't know? You know when humans first popped up on this continent? I have a really good argument for it. We don't want to deal. You just deal with facts. But you wow. can't. But you said a lot of stuff that's not facts. <laughs> deal with facts. You said a lot of stuff that's not facts. Like what? Well, on, you just said that there oh, were oh, continents that are under the water that Jabari. were thriving with Africa. Now, I think you made a mistake, Jabari. That did not occur. That did not happen. Jabari, Why not? Jabari, you made a mistake. With what? You said you can... 
Correct his fault. Me if I'm wrong. Oh, that's your fault. You said that you could give a good argument on when human beings started. Something you can. Like How? It was nobody here. Yeah. Just like you said. <laughs> just like you said to Bobby. Hold up. Just like you said, the Earth is five billion years old. Thank you, OG. You know that. Just let me one time. <laughs> Thank you. Know so let me answer. So let me answer. Yeah. Yeah. answer. Yeah. That's why I said you couldn't give. Yeah. A yeah. Answer so wait, that's I why I said you could give a good argument because no, no one that was here wrote something that said, "Guess what? I'm the first dude." Right. Exactly. Right. But that's why I'm saying it's a good argument. How? And it's not. It's I don't not, even think it how? would be. So let me explain. Let me explain. Yeah. Let me explain. We actually can look at the fossil record, mm -mm. and as we look at the fossil record. We see that there were certain um, beings that we consider intermediate stages to where we are now. The, the uh, uh, forms of, of life that we can consider close human ancestors that were not what we consider today Homo sapiens sapiens. We are Homo sapiens sapiens. This is all white man's so made So that stuff. is, and you know, you said that and I disagree with it's you. So deep. These are the things I wanted to disagree with you on, but we got far afield. Mm -hmm. Because there is no white man science. Africans created science. And white men Africans altered that science gave, and gave it to us. There is no way to Washed alter in. science. Science is science. You can, right. you can alter science. But then that no, would be science. You could disagree, science is you could disagree with, with, with someone's you know. findings. We have scientists well, wait, that listen, disagree amongst each listen, other now. Sure. So science sure. is perspective. But guess what happens? So you can't but guess what that. happens? As we do more work and more study, some theories become be, they fall by the wayside because as science improves perspective is as important. we learn it's not just perspective That's it's the as we thing. do more perspective is everything. it's not just perspective some of it is developing the tools that it, that have us able to understand things like for Let's example so for example when people argue there was a big bang theory mm -hmm. right there was it was a theory, but there now what we've done is we're able to develop devices that are able that can help make the argument better. So for just just about last within the last three months, mm -hmm. they were able to use a device to measure gravitational waves in space. But there was no big and as they as they look at the gravitational waves, they can once again say, well, these waves are coming from the same source, which seems to once again support the concept of a big bang it's their perception and so you have to that's not perception can i say something it's the perspective because everything revolves and repeats so when you're trying to find where the wave and the source of the wave coming from you're gonna get lost because that's like trying to find out where did silas come from oh he came from his mother his daughter must have came from his mother but it's revolving so my daughter will seem like she came from my mother but there's someone that predates my mother. But no, that's there's not someone true. that predates them. That's so when you're true. trying to track Solace. where something's coming Solace. from and the life is revolving, Solace. Solace. you're gonna get Let's lost. Let's say that your mother and your daughter walk into the hospital, and God forbid, I'm gonna make an argument that I'm not wishing, but I'm just hear me for a second. Mm -hmm. Let's say that for whatever reason they were in an accident, they weren't able to speak. Right? Mm -hmm. They might say maybe this this little girl is this woman's daughter. Mm -hmm. If they chose to do a DNA test, I'm not talking about. Listen this. to me. They would be able to tell. No, this is not her mother. This is her grandmother. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just a perspective. You can use science. They're not doing a DNA Let me test finish. on waves. Let me finish. You can use science sometimes to come to very close to definitive or definitive answers. So no, they're not doing DNA on waves. But now what they're able to do is they have very, very powerful telescopes that did not exist recently. Life is like that allow us to, to, to be able to measure something that we couldn't measure before. Just like when the Dogon people said that there was a star they came from. Mm -hmm. People life, thought they were crazy. Life produced. And then eventually what happened is they developed a telescope that was that was strong enough for them to be able to see that star. Right. So but, now they can, it's not about perspective. Now they can prove something someone But said. life is repeating and it's revolving, meaning it happens over and over that, again. That once again so when you're on trying, your lens. Yeah, it still have nothing to do with it. Of you can have the biggest lens you want. Listen. If something revolves, there's no star. Your grandfather will never be here again. You're not listening, brother. If there's no start or end, scientists could never prove anything as far as beginnings go. That's done. That's not true. That's not true. 
brother, you bugging out. I'm not disagreeing with you, but oh, I don't want to say I'm anything like, because Whoa. if I say something, we're going to get to some stuff that we do disagree. <laughs> because if he believes that, I think some of the other things he said cannot be true. But you so said, I'm not going there. So I never said it was here before energy? No, I don't believe that uh, was here before energy. Oh, I know yes, that energy said, must yeah. predate matter. Right? Yeah, but, but you I, just but said I, matter is energy. But let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. In some ways, depending on the lens that you're looking at, we energy going? is matter. Mm -hmm. Energy is matter, but you said it as if energy is only, it's is like matter, just matter. Hmm? You said it as if energy is matter, as if energy doesn't exist without matter. I'm saying depending on what lens you look at, energy is matter, because energy is also particles. Energy is within matter. But, energy but it's is not also matter. Particles. Matter is not energy. Energy is within so matter. Explain to me what energy is. Energy life force is that powers up what you would call the body. Not all matter. energy is life force. All matter. All energy is life force. Not all energy is life force. So what the is the sun it? is 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 certainly a ball of, of energy, but and that is a life, and that's a life. That's so the, the sun, solar being. So the sun is alive. Yeah. The sun, you're looking the same at same way that you're oh, alive. Can I say something? The sun is you're alive, alive, brother. How does the it keep us alive? Not in, same, not in the same way. Yes, it is. That he is alive. The sun is the same you're thing talking, I am. You got to understand that there's <laughs> times that we should talk about philosophy um. and science. And there are certainly areas where they converge, mm. but they don't converge everywhere. So like, for example, I don't believe that there's literally a woman who was arched over that that literally swallows the sun and gives birth to the sun. That's no, a that's philosophical. A that's a philosophical um, uh, articulation. Who right? said that? You talking about Kemet? I'm talking about the Kemetic. Yes, I'm talking but about. But that's not what that even say. What do you mean? That's what not. What when you got uh, you talking about when Nut is over the earth, and that uh, uh -oh. you talking about that uh -oh. carving? Yeah. And you said that it's you. I get what you was trying to say. You was trying to say that that has a meaning. Don't take that literal. That is not that. I right. get that. But so where are we disagreeing? Because nut don't got nothing to do with the earth. What do you mean? Sure, have nothing to do with the earth. Uh oh. Nut is Come the on sky. Silence, man. Nut, Newt, and mm -hmm. Geb were one at one point. Yeah, male and female reproductive so how could they organs. Not be one? They were one at one point. Because the male and female reproductive organs ain't, Newt ain't one. and Geb were one at one point. They were separated by shoe. Huh? They were separated by shoe. Say that again? Newt and Geb. Earth is Geb. You know Earth that. is not Geb. Ooh, Earth Geb is, is the reproductive of a male. Earth, I'm talking about comedic philosophy and spirituality. In. So we're not talking in science. Medic no. Philo no, we're talking about philosophy now. I want to deal with the science. Well, but if you're talking about Newton Gabby, you're talking about philosophy. Because Newt, it, there is no woman that swallows the sun and gives birth to it. I didn't say it was. I said nut. That's my point. That's nut, what I'm saying. It's philosophy. Nut, it's not philosophy. It's explaining the, so the sky and how the sun is within the sky. It's a philosophy so when it's saying that nut swallowed the sun, it's not philosophy. They're explaining reality. The sun is swallowed by the sky. I'm not saying philosophy. Which is, is the womb. False. Listen, you think I think you think I'm saying that philosophy is false. No, I think I'm saying philosophy, philosophy is I know what philosophy, philosophy is. Philosophy no, I'm, I'm, I'm I think you think I'm saying that. No, I don't think I'm that's saying. what you're saying. Philosophy is philosophy, science is science, I grasp. But sometimes they're sometimes they, they converge. Yeah. So I would say that yes, there are there are times that that, that converges. But when they talk about Newton Gebb, they're not talking about it scientifically per se. They're trying to explain them the nature of things. What is the under what is the relationship between things? They breaking down the divine aspects of life. So nut is the sky or the night sky, which is the womb. So when you look up at the sky at night, you're looking at the womb of the macro being that we all live in. Just like you have micro life within you. I have no disagreement with what you said. So this is when it, so what, my say, saying what I'm is, saying is this. But you said Newt had nothing to do with Geb. And I said there was a point in that I said story. they were, you said that they were one being. They were one at one point. I don't know nothing about that. Well, that's because you need to do a little bit more reading on it. You might just be I'm saying that. that. I don't I'm know. Telling you that I learned I mean, directly from source. You learn from source? books that other people wrote. Well, if you use the word Newton Geb, then you're talking about comedic philosophy. And I'm telling you, I've studied com comedic philosophy. If I'm using the word Newton Geb, I'm using the word Newton Geb because that's the word y'all use. I can't sit here and explain to you comedic science through words that so I know. what word would you use? I wouldn't use no word. I understand it. 
So you don't need to use a word for sky and sun and you don't need the names Listen. of the Kanateru to understand because the names but have nothing to deal. do with the understanding. That's not it's just true the either. names that's not true for either. us to communicate. That is not true either. You the get reason, my point? The reason why I need saying, to know his wait, name wait, wait, to wait, communicate wait, 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 wait. The about him to someone why else. You are saying that is because you don't understand the names. No, I'm saying that because if I'm talking about Sanetta to someone, I need to know his name so they can no, understand. Wait, no, no, no. If I'm not talking about Sanetta to no one, I don't need to know his name. He doesn't read Medunetta, that's why he's saying that. Oh my God. Because the, the very name, listen to me for a second. The very name Newt tells you about her, uh, uh, her nature. Sky, right? What is new? Sky, right? What is new? You're playing games. No, nut I'm not is the games. sky, right? No, I didn't ask you about nut. I'm asking, asking you. New? Nut is, is the sky, right? What is new? You're playing games. The reason why he's able to answer is because he doesn't read the Medu Netter. Why so you the names ain't... are not irrelevant. They why are not... you not answering the my question? Why? See how you do? The reason he don't answer mine, so I do him the same way, explain. and then he say, oh, he's not answering because he no, don't know. No, let me explain. Let me Mind explain. you, I made it clear. Let me explain. You said that the name you would not use any names because the names don't really have important. that much. Then he asks me important. what's new. But I'm saying to you that the names After are I already very said, I don't need the name. I'm saying to you that the names are very important. They're not important. Listen to me. You have to listen. You don't read the language. I'm telling you. You, if you understand the language, you understand the name is highly important. The language ain't been deciphered. That's so when you sit here acting you, like uh -oh, you're dead, uh -oh. you uh -oh. you lying to yourself. If you, you believe that, that brother, you, that was you are you, you are really confused. Hold on, I'm gonna say this one thing. Uh oh, here you go. The metal netta got way more vocabulary than we got. They got way more alphabet than we got. They got way more understanding than we got. A lot of the languages we got, they come from the Medunetta, simplifying it. So English is simplified old English. So all, all language comes from the language that predated, and they kind of simplify it. So this is how we get LMAO, laughing my ass off, and we, you seeing us simplify our English language into some weirdo shit. So this happens all over the history of life. One language is simplified and simplified and simplified. Now my point is this. If the metal net had been deciphered, how? We don't got the same amount of vocabulary or words. How do you how do you decipher something and you no. missing okay. words? Okay, let me explain. Now let me explain. Ask the question. Please. Let him answer. Let him explain. Let me explain. I really did oh, listen. I listened to No, you did. You did. Yes, you I did. keep doing that, you but you're not hearing that. I got you. <laughs> let listen, me sit back. What I'm saying to you is is that when people say the metal netter has not been deciphered, mm -hmm. first of all they don't even believe it. That the is a net. marketing. They don't believe that. The people that are saying it don't believe it. The right. main one of the main proponents is Sara Sutan Seti. If he, he doesn't believe if he doesn't believe that, then you have to say that his name. Why would he have a name, Sara right. Sutan Seti? But here's the deep part. But because I don't think Seti know anything either. Let me either. finish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I agree with you on that. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. Now you have to understand that even when you're talking about modern languages, there are good translations and bad translations. Definitely. But it doesn't mean that it's not a translation. Mm -hmm. So that when I speak to someone who is speaking Spanish, sometimes they'll say to me, well, there's not really a good translation in English. It doesn't mean that they haven't translated the phrase or the, or the sentence. That just means the meaning doesn't carry very well. That's my point. So understand that when we talk about the Medunetter, absolutely the Medunetter has been deciphered. Mm -hmm. Do not we understand? All of it. Wow. Let me finish. Does that mean that we understand everything that was meant? No. That's my point. Does it mean that it is easily spoken? No. That's my point. But the issue is whether there's a difference between being able to speak a language and being able to decipher a language. And that is where the confusion lies. The com because the metonet, let me finish. Mm -hmm. The metonetter does not transcribe many of its vowels. And so some people believe that because it doesn't transcribe many of its vowels, it means that it hasn't been deciphered. But that's not true. Can I say something? So, so what we're able to do, let me finish this. Yeah. What we're able to do, you're, look, you're sitting right on uh, belief Medonetta right now. Indeed. I can read that to you. You can read what you was taught no. to read. Brother, the other thing is this. The other thing is this. But if I what you're able to do, let me finish. Let me give you an example. I'm going to give you an example. I want you to hear this too, uh, Sonetta. Okay. We're going to close really soon because I have to head downtown for my workshop. Uh -oh. But you have, to, you have to hear this. No, I'm listening. When, when they were recently doing work uh, along the Great Merkut, the Great Pyramid, mm -hmm. they were doing some sonograph studies and they found... A, a, an actual um, void. They found a room. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And they didn't know it was there. Right by the Great Merku, the Great Pyramid. Okay. Right? There are actually four at every... No, I heard of this. So listen to this. So what they did was, they said, wow, we've been coming to this for thousands of years, but no one knew that was there. At least we didn't know. Mm -hmm. So they dug it up. And they found that there were pieces of wood. Mm -hmm. And as they looked at the piece, they said, this is a boat. Mm -hmm. We wish that we were able to put this back together. As they took all the pieces out, guess what they found? The instructions on how to put it back I together. Know exactly what you told. So wow. they read the instructions and they put the boat back. They together. had this on the history channel. If you were not able to read the language, you mm. would not be able to have a boat. Thank you. Not true. What I'm saying to you is a Russian the boat. Together, wait, listen, uh, listen to me. No, but listen to me. The language. But listen Jesus to me. He he listen that. to me. Let me finish. He's talking there building. are many That's times. That's not reading. Let me finish. Two different things. There were 1,500 pieces, a lot of pieces. And so what you have to understand is one of the ways that we know the language has been deciphered <laughs> is that when we read it, based on where it is and what it's saying, we usually understand what's being said. Now, so I that I could give you a book. In fact, I told my, my folks that are part of Comedic Ascension, my, my, my bi-weekly worship services, I told them to get a book called The Temple. Can I, so I can get to talk? I can't remember the, the <laughs> name of the temple. I listen to you. You got to listen to this. I'm building this. It's long. I can when you say look something. at When you look at the temple, it actually describes on every wall the process that occurred in each of those rooms. If that, if we weren't able to decipher it, the 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 decipherment wouldn't make sense in the room. You're confusing so this is, is like, can this I is this? I'm a cancer. You confusing translation and deciphering. You can translate something. <laughs> can I talk? Without all, without all the goofy ass laughing, because I'm about to make both of y'all look stupid. Oh shit! You because y'all want to play. Now we gonna play. Y'all yeah, wanna play? It. Let me get on my. Do some push ups. All right, no, no, come no, on, come, come with it. Shit. Come with it. There's a difference between translation <laughs> and decipherment. Right. Now, if I'm talking to a Spanish brother and the Spanish brother hear me and you talking, and I say dog, and the Spanish brother understand, okay, dog is perro. But we we both no, 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 agree with you. Wait, 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 wait. Let him finish. Why you laughing? Let him finish. Let him finish. Why y'all laughing? But, but the other thing is this, oh, though. Because deciphering and translation is two different things. But you have to understand that. When they translated oh, what they... But wait, but wait, so but wait, 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 wait. If you can, okay. trans, if you can translate something, what do that... Deciphering is understanding it. So the, the Puerto Rican might know that dog is perro, but I might have told you, yeah, I'm about to go see my dog. The Spanish person gonna think I'm talking about perro, a dog. Right. So they understand the word is translated, but the understanding is not. But there. you know what would happen? That's what I'm saying. But, let me, but let me say this to you. Letter, but, but, let me, but let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. First of all, understand you're talking to someone who does this. You're talking philosophically. I'm talking literal. That's a literal thing. No, you're thing. talking philosophically because you cannot you read. Games. You're talking to someone who can. You playing games. So what I'm saying is that there's a different level of understanding that I'm coming I to this conversation. I can read that to you. You can read what you were so taught. So what I'm saying to you. You can't read that on your own. You were listen, taught by somebody to read it that you, way. I can tell you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. Let so me, wait. Let me say this answer. one thing because I was saying something. Because I got something. Let me say this one thing to you. That same guy that thinks that you're talking about a dog, he only gets that because he's looking, he's listening to one sentence. If he listened to you talk enough, long enough, he would begin to understand what they call idiomatic phrases. He wouldn't because he only so that, knows his no, language and he knows no, the correlation. No, like that is not dog. true. Y'all know this means as that, he that, listens that, to, you're going to say, I'm going to see my dog. He's going to say, why is he going to see a dog? And then he's going to say, my dog owes me some money. He'll be like, wait a minute, his dog has money? And then he's going to say, yeah, my dog told me that we're going to hang out on Friday. But and then they, he would say, oh, wait a minute. He's not talking about a animal. He's talking about a person. Can I person. say something right quick? If so that, let me finish on. this one because sentence. They, You're interrupting me. I'm about to make a point. You're interrupting you me. Said. But you have to hear my point so that maybe your point will change. It's Listen not. to me. Listen to me. Bro, so that the awful. more you read, mm, mm, mm. the better you have the ability to have understanding of phrases and idioms. Can I, can I talk? The yes. understanding don't come from you reading more. If they uh, if they only understand translations, they can read as far down as they want. No money, I might not be talking about cash. I might have said, "Yo, man, what's up, money?" So it's all understanding. So how would they figure you it out? You can't say the more person. How would they figure it out? They're going to understand. So you're telling me that nobody that understands. But wait a minute. Language. So you're telling me that no one that speaks Spanish understands dog or money to mean your friend. How do they figure it they out? They understand it. How do they, they figure it out? Understand English. No. 
You have come you on, have, man. You have <laughs> hold on, stop. Can I talk? No, no. Listen, you have listen. hold on. You have immigrants that come here that can speak, and you see them speaking, but they have no clue. Silence. What they you said the only reason why he knows how to read that it was because it was taught to him. Right. Right, brother. The only reason why we know how to read English is because it was taught to us. But well, my point the is, only hold on. Why we know how to read Spanish, but you only got half the half the uh, knowledge. The Nedu Neda language comes with pictures. Right. It don't just come with words. What do you mean? So you don't have to just know the words. You can know the pictures. That helps you understand the words. That's my point. You was taught to know it how you know it. What? You didn't look at the Wait, Medu you're Neda. you're making my point. He's saying it's my, his point. You don't understand what I'm saying. The Medu Neda has pictures in writing. They correlate. So if you don't understand one, maybe you understand the other. Right. So then what so happens my, is. Hold on. My point is this. You were taught to read the metal netter. You didn't look at the pictures on your own I think and say, the wrong argument. that's say, not true. Say he He's helping trained. my argument. Trained. That's what you were trying to He's trained. making my argument. To to but solace. Trained to solace. read the rap solace. Solace. But solace. you didn't learn it on your own. Solace, no. Solace, first what you have to understand is that there was a point where I was looking at these pictures and I couldn't read. I hear you, man. And then eventually when you I was taught, trained right? or taught or whatever word you want to use. But listen, I've been there 14 None times. I'm coming back 15 next month. It don't, because brothers, you know come, I do? Wait brothers a minute. come here and say that Let the, me the finish. means something different than the Egyptians <laughs> Let say Let me that. finish. What Egyptians say that? <laughs> you got people here that say the unk means life or whatever. In Egypt, it's a key to Who's them. Egypt you talking about? Huh? You talking about people that live there now? Nah. They don't read the Medan. Most of them don't read the Medan Netter. Oh, so they don't know it. They don't. They're Muslim. They have no idea. Right. I know more about that than they do. I'm done with it. <laughs> no, I go there all the time and, and, that, and teach you're them. You're telling me that men from America know Egypt better than Egyptians. Yes. That's real. That's you precisely know, what I'm because saying. Because they stop. They think it's paganism now. They speak Islam. They speak you know, Arabic. They know something. They. I didn't say they know nothing. If I didn't they say, say they know it's nothing. Pagan, you will have somebody on the continent that knows it. So, if they know. saying it's paganism, Listen to me. They basically telling them all he knows about the Egypt people of Egypt of the past is a lie. What? This is why the people of Egypt don't follow that shit no more. Why? Cause y'all paganized it like he just no, said. No, no, that's not the reason why they don't follow it is saying. because what for the I most part they're not they ancient people. Religious. They're not the ancient people. Right. They, they came they from somewhere not. else. I'm not saying they ain't. But so that's why they don't to know. The ancient people than we are. How do you? Why? Cause why? There. That doesn't oh, mean you're closer. Bro. So, brother, are you that's telling me? Wait a minute. You tell me that a Native American in Canada doesn't understand Native Native American ways in New York better than I do? Say that again. You heard what I said. No, I, I'm trying to... <laughs> You're telling me that a Native American in Canada will not understand Native American ways that as they occurred in Manhattan better it, than I put do? Put it to my perspective and then say what you said. You get my point? What do you mean put it to your say perspective? Say what I said and, and what I was saying and then say what you said. I just made said. an analogy. You just made an analogy what I'm that saying make to no you is What I'm me. saying to you is, is that just because someone is not in the location doesn't mean they don't have better understanding. But you're not even from there. What does that have to do with anything? It got to do I'm with something. I'm from here. I'm from here, but I could barely tell you anything about Native American culture. No, 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 because no, I'm not Native American. Hold on, check this out. We over here in America. But you can tell hold on, about hold on, hold America. On. Hold on, Silas. You get my Silas, point? Silas. No. Silas. Hold on, Silas. Because they can tell me about Egypt. Jabari. They can't tell me about Kemet. Jabari. We over here. No. You, did you no, see no, no, it? No, he no, heard no. me. No, no, no. Sa, no. He no, heard me. No, no relax. Silas, Silas, let me relax. make this point. We hold over on. here he, in America. He made a good we point. Know all he made a good point Africa. that you got. He made it. No, that's not good. Africans in Africa. That's not true. That's not true. Not all of them. But not he all. made. That's a bad point. But he made a good one. The ones that's over here. The Africans we over. Know way more no, we the Africans don't. Over. No, not necessarily don't. true. No, it's not we necessarily don't. necessarily true. But he made a good point. Nah. But Africa's a very nah. big place. Right. Yeah. He made Africa's a good point a though. The people of now. What the point he made? He said the people of now in Egypt. See, I'm not here to say if he make him wrong. What he said We're was right. We have a discussion. Yeah. He said the people in Egypt now, they know Egypt. They don't know Ken. Oh, okay. And I'll give him that. That was my point. That's good intellect. That's a good statement. Mm -hmm. But the and I don't want to say that I'm going against what you say. Okay. But you gotta add a little more to it. Okay, I'm here. So what you I'm saying listening, is, I'm listening. What you're saying is good. I'm listening. And I'm not gonna disagree with that. I'm listening. But Kim 
became Egypt. So they still, I'm not disagreeing with you. You're right. The people, just like the people of now, we know America. Kim didn't we don't know. Egypt, brother. Yes, it did. That's only in their minds. Not to Kim, us, it didn't became to Kim, in a sense, Kim became Egypt. Whether it got watered down not to, to me, become it when I say become Egypt, hold so on. Because when I say become Egypt, y'all taking it as something else. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking of America was what it was, and then white people came here. So the America that we have today, it's not the same America that it was to the people. That's then. true. So that's the point I'm trying to make. He's right. The Egypt people of now, they know Egypt. Meaning when Kim became Egypt, they know from that point. So you get what close, I'm saying? We get ready to close. That's so my argument. I know, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, we get ready to close. But what I, what, can make, I say one thing? Make this can statement I say one thing? right now. Can I say that one thing? Jabari beat Sanchez, brother. Because huh? you're going to look bad. Make it. Make it. <laughs> that Jabari beat Sanchez. He didn't even watch the whole thing. Yo, I can't even believe y'all went up. Y all, y all he didn't watch the whole thing. Like, that is crazy. Because you didn't watch it. Let the people know you didn't watch the whole thing. I watched the hour. I, I watched what I said. An oh, hour. hour. Hold on, brother. That's less than a third. Hold on. An hour. Hold on. Yeah. I told the people what I watched. Right, so you I did. never they said I watched the whole thing. No, game. but you made a, you said Jabari. That's no, like me did. watching. That's like me watching a uh, ten round. Uh, that's like me watching a ten round prize fight. Right, and saying I first I, I saw the first point? three rounds. Can I, make my point? I know who won. For example, for example. Oh. Did you see the Floyd Mayweather fight with of course. McGregor? Yeah, can I make my the point? The first three rounds. If you ain't seen nothing else, you probably would have said McGregor beat the shit out of him. Fight because me. you didn't see Can I talk, the whole brother? fight. Can I talk, brother? Jabari, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I but, but even in that fight. analogy, it's not I didn't lose the first three rounds. Yeah, see, it's not Sanchez a good analogy. got himself beat the no, hell up. No, I'm can I make? Can I? Can I get a point to say? I know your you what point you're making. First three rounds. I know what point you're soul. making. He won. I know what point you're making. But people at home might think we're saying something. Yeah, that point is not that good. But I, I, I'm bad point. I just want to clarify. I'm following y'all. But what I want to say is this. I never you said. Do the video. Go I don't see have the video to redo the video. No, you got to. let's hear what he's saying. Let, let him hear what he's saying. What I watched was enough for me to say he got smoked. On what is now, y'all not hold on. Can I talk? I want you to tell Can me what point he got smoked. On? I'm trying go. to talk. Okay. I never said Sanchez was right about something and he was wrong about something. I said he got smoked because he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. And what is that? You wise, way wiser than Sanchez, as I said in the video, from my perspective. I thought you was a deep intellectual and he was just a country nigga. Well, so when I say you got smoked, it's on that perspective. And why though? Not because Sanchez was right and he was wrong. Because the fact you were struggling, going around a point, everything I said in the video. So I never said you lost because you wasn't smart. Give me an example I said, of what point he was, was going beating around the bush. Sanchez was going straight at you. I don't see him going Hold on. Straight. Okay, but can I have my opinion? Okay. That's all I'm like. You can have your opinion. Sir. Sanchez was going Even straight at him. Wrong. Instead of him just <laughs> chopping, a lot of people said the same thing I said. Though. <laughs> they said you was beating around, around the bush. Beating around the bush. You were talking about the moon and how it correlates to the water. But see, here's the problem. But you should have just cracked his head but on earth. here's the problem. You have to understand. He did. He but did. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't get that this out of that. This is a difference in the way that we think. Yeah, I didn't this get that This is also out the reason that. why he thinks he can make an argument in 10 seconds. Oh, my God. He did. He does think he can, can make an argument in 10 seconds. I mean, and I do all and the time. And I don't think that I when, you're, time, when you're though. talking about something that has complexity... You have to develop the argument. That's the reason why that debate took over three hours. If I said you because, won, if wait, I said you wait, won, wait, would you ask me wait. the same question? I would ask you what you thought was good about the debate. Why would you think I won? I, I ask people that all the time. And if That's I, how I improve. And if I told you why I thought you won, would you uh, have anything to say after that? Like how you doing that? I would ask you why you, uh, you thought I won. And when I tell you why I think you won, would you have something to say after? If I disagreed with you, why I would, would you say... Why would you disagree against you if you won? Because the... <laughs> Because the reason, because the reasons, wait, no, because the reason that you, because you might say, you might say, you wait, wait, you might say, you might say, that's not true. He doesn't know. He does not know me. Because yeah, because I would say that. What you need to do is ask my wife. Tell me how I want. Listen, ask my wife how many times I asked her. Listen, listen, ask my wife how many times. Listen, listen. Ask my wife how many times I asked her to watch portions of it to tell me what her thoughts were. From the beginning, she said, I don't even know why you had a debate. But that's your wife. You got, you got defeated. But, but you have to understand that my wife is a critical thinker. No, she and she doesn't always agree with me. 
My thing is this. And I don't so, want you let to me like, finish. Let yeah, me finish. Let me finish. finish. I just want to say so that, No, not Please before I finish. Let me like finish I'm my saying, statement. Because you think I'm saying that you're not wise or you dumber than Jabari. I no, mean, I, dumber think, than Sanchez, I think that the reason why you... I, I think the reason why you think he won is because the two of you approach understanding in a similar no, way. No, don't. Well, listen we don't to what do I'm saying. Listen, I said he, I listen, told you listen, I listen to me. Listen. It had nothing to do with Sanchez. Listen to me. Right. Could you listen to me for a second? But you're saying something completely wrong. But you don't even know why I'm saying it. I do. You're saying it because I said you lost. So no, you no. you want to try to bang me in with Sanchez. No. Like we got the same intellect. Listen to me for a second. And he listen, said he don't. He listen said he don't to me Sanchez. for a second. But listen to me. How come I can't finish a sentence with you, brother? You're right. This is what I'm saying. The reason why I didn't, I wasn't as completely surprised that you said that is because you say that you learn from the life. Mm -hmm. And he says something similar. He says that he learns things that he can experience directly. But that ain't the same. And so in That's some ways, same. let me finish. In some ways, what you have to do is you have to use some tools that you can't just experience on your own in order to understand some things that are deeper. For but example, I learn from the life the way you example, learn from the book. So I don't for example, like that's Sanchez not possible. Huh? When you read from a book, one of the things that you're doing is you're learning from other people's lives. Exactly. And other people's mechanisms, and and other matter. people's that processes. Don't it don't matter. It don't mean well, that. well, that's why what you said is similar to what he said. No, I well, learned from the way I, the same This way is you my read opinion. Just like, he has, just like he no. has an opinion. You cannot learn from life the, the same, same way you learn from a book. Yes, you can. The same way you're looking at the book and you're reading it, you can read life. Y'all don't look at life. Y'all listen to books. You need to understand. So a book will say one you thing need that to go understand. against life and he you, will be like, you need to book. You need to understand that say. you're sitting with not just someone who's a historian, but who not, is a comedic priest. That's cool. So I experience the world daily. And I, I pay attention to things. Experience. Let me exp let me finish. I, I pay attention to things that most people would not pay attention to mm -hmm. because of what I do. Mm -hmm. Right? But I am saying to you that there are some things, and these are things that came to us from Kemet, came to us from Africans, not things that were given to us by Europeans. There are some things that you need to do in order to have a deeper understanding that sometimes goes beyond what you can notice and that's where the yourself. Life you ain't going to get that deeper perspective from a book. It's only going to come from the life. Brother, that's not true. That's the honest truth. It's not true. All ancient people learn from if the I life. If I believe they didn't learn that, from that's not ancient true Ancient comedic people didn't learn from Of course books. they did. They learned from the life and then they wrote the Medunetta from observations And so other people life. didn't read from, learn from what they wrote? That's my point. The knowledge started with the life. It didn't start with the writing. But it starts with other people's it lives. It don't matter. Whoever it's wrote a the big writings difference. had the knowledge. There's Where did big, they get the knowledge from? There's a from? big difference. Before the book was written, the knowledge there's was a, had. Where did it come from? There's a big difference between Question. what you're able to do you're on your question. own and then what you you're do is you stand question. listen to me before books was you're written, interrupting me come what from? you're doing is you stand on the shoulders of those who made uh to who made contributions before you so some of what you do before is based that. on what other people have experienced before that. not only on what you have experienced before that. and so you have to understand before. That we come to different bits of understanding, not just on things that we're able to experience ourselves in our within our own lives, from but also from what other people are able to tell the the, the tests that they're able to do. You got to observe other people. You cannot observe. You everything. can't go by what another person Brother, tells you because a person everything. will lie about what they've experienced. Hold on, look at this right quick. Look at my homeboy. He's in Mexico. He just sent me a picture. Oh, that's odd. Right. <laughs> Cause you telling me something. Come on, man. You gotta go take a vacation, brother. You do. It's on. Yeah, yeah it's on. But you can't see it. I'm gonna put <laughs> no, it on. folks. Man, I gotta man, roll because I have yeah, a workshop good. to run downtown. All right, all right, man. Peace, brother. That's what's peace, up. family. Okay, next time we gotta have a better, better discussion.